All right, get yourselves ready. I'm getting myself ready. Got to do my hair. All right, let me pour some whiskey. All right, I'm ready. All right. Hey, everybody. How you doing? <laughs> I'm kind of ready to go on, but also not 100% ready to go on. I hope you're all doing well. As you can see, it's not quite my birthday yet. Uh, Sunday. Sunday. So what is that? Five days from now, I will have another day where the number ticks up. That's, that's basically all that happens on that day. We'll see. We'll see if anything else happens on that day. I'll probably go out for dinner or something. But we got friends that are coming in, in in town for the weekend, so we'll probably hang out with them. If not for my birthday, around my birthday. That's the plan, at least. All right. I made some changes in the sound today. Hopefully, it improves things. If things are weird, uh, let me know if they're weird. Like, if you can't hear me or you can't hear anything. So, you know. uh, Brian, it's damn near perfect. I'm not going to lie. Look at that. Look at that. Worked on it all day today, like a good 16 or 17 minutes. <laughs> all right, let me get into the chat. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Hit the thumbs up if you haven't done so. Uh, tell me what you're drinking in the chat. You know the rules. And then we'll get the game started. And if there's games, I don't know if there's games. That's probably the lie. Uh, we'll get hanging out, and we'll drink whiskey, and I'll probably talk about some stuff that's happening. And uh, we'll, we'll have a good hangout. Uh, I don't know how late we're going to go tonight. <laughs> that means it could be early or it could be much later. Oh, there's Mark. What's up, Mark? Good to see you. Yeah, happy almost birthday. So I, the way I'm figuring it, so last week was my channel anniversary and 3,000 subscribers, and I did a Friday night stream for that. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to do Tuesday because Tuesday's the night I usually go. And I'm like, I don't know if I can stream again between now and my birthday. Birthday. So this is it. This has to be it. So uh, I'm not saying I won't be on somebody else's channel, but... As far as me streaming uh, between now and my birthday, probably not, unless something crazy happens. And that does happen sometimes. But you do get a cheers, Mark. Good to see you again. I bet you guys know what I'm drinking, and I'm going to take them small, small tonight. That's for sure. Thanks, man. Uh, not quite there yet. Sunday. Sunday is the birthday day. I know you just had your birthday, and Todd over 21090, his birthday is around now as well. So all the coolest kids, if you know what I'm saying. Slap shots here. What's up, buddy? Get a cheers. And I get J Max. I'll get you guys both. I'll take a little extra. But still keep it small, if you know what I'm saying. Tony Bag of Donuts in the house. What's up, Tony? Good to see you. T birthday cheers to you, Cheech. Wild turkey in the glass. I start the party. Same with me, buddy. Wild turkey 81. Just to get us going, get, get lubed up. I haven't had any whiskey since Friday night. I think that's true. I might have had some whiskey on the weekend, but I think that's true. Maybe not since Friday night. Can't remember. It was a good Friday night, if you know what I'm saying. What's up, Zach? Good to see you. Cheers, Cheech. Going to start out with some OKI. Oh, a new OKI. I have some of those, too. I don't find myself reaching them for very much, but uh, maybe I should. Maybe I should just drink them and get rid of them. Uh, sipping with some extra. There you go. Well, we're going to get around to some extra. I, I'd rather drink some really good stuff tonight since it's going to be the birthday stream or whatever. But uh, All right, J-Max about to burn a stick. At least he was 15 minutes ago. I did get a little early start since those guys wrap quickly. Hey, Gary, good to see you. Thanks, buddy. Keep having them every year around this time. I seem to have another birthday. It's like, it's like an annual thing or something. It comes around literally every year. I haven't been able to stop them yet. I guess I'll keep them coming. That's usually how it works. Cole's here. What's up, Cole George? Good to see you. Thank you, buddy, for the birthday wishes and the cheers. Cheers to you. 
Small Sips Cheech. Jerry Black's here. What's up, Jerry? Good to see you. Henry McKenna 10 from 2019. Oh, that's cool. I just moved some Henry McKenna's out off the shelf into the floor. Don't ask me why, but they're on the floor currently. I think I'm going to pack them away. I've got them going back to uh, 20... I guess it would be a 2018 release. 2008, uh, 2008 distillation season. But you do get me with a cheers, Jerry. Cheers to you. Small sips, Cheech. And Mark Amanecker's here. What's up, Mark? Good to see you. And I see that you're drinking an Evan Williams 1783. And I actually almost poured that as my first pour tonight. But I ended up stacking some stuff on top of that area. And I didn't want to have to move it. But I might be convinced in a little bit to drink some of that. You do get a cheers. Cheers, Mark. Good to see you. See if we can get caught up real quick and get this thing opened up real quick. John Kranz, cheers to each and everyone. Jack Daniels, single barrel, barrel proof, and a Coke Zero. Are they mixed? Is it a mix? Or are you just drinking them side by side and mixing them in your face? Because you could do it, right? For me, at least. All right, I just did something wrong. Hopefully, you guys didn't hear that. <laughs> it was bad wrong. But you do get a cheers, John. Good to see you. I just realized I'm not set up to drop the link, so I got to do a little magic here in a second to make that happen. Mike Franklin's here. It's always good to see you, Mike. Cheers to you. That reminds me, for those of you who won stuff on Friday night's giveaway for the anniversary stream, you guys might know Jen's been a little under the weather. Uh, she finally went to the doctor today and got some medicine so she can clear up. Uh, the, she, she's just got like a sinus infection or whatever. Anyway, she's not baking cookies yet. So anybody who's got a bottle coming to them that are also getting chocolate chip cookies and a few of you who might be getting chocolate chip cookies that don't know you're getting chocolate chip cookies, uh, they're not going to go out until next week. I only ship on Mondays uh, and Jen was in no condition to, to bake. So Mike, you'll have to wait another week. That's just how it is but I'm sure you don't mind. We'll, we'll pad the envelope a little bit, if you know what I'm saying. Probably get myself in trouble one of these days saying things like that. Eric Isaacson's here. What's up, Eric? Good to see you. Cheers to you. I've almost caught back up to where uh, BT told me to fix my hair. Uh, one dub's in the house. What's up, Chris? Good to see you. We missed you. Missed birthdays by 10 days. Oh, there you go. Having a little MBSR, MBSR. Anybody, anybody got me in an MBSR? Somebody, anybody help me out with that? <laughs> Hold on, let me uh, go ahead and get this link set up so we can do that. While I'm, while I'm scrambling, I might as well get that done too. Let's see if I can get that done real quick. I think that's it. Link is at the top. You know how that works. If the music's too loud, let me know the music's too loud. When I get there, I guess. All right, one dub, you get your cheers, Chris. Got 40 people hanging out. Thanks, everybody. We're just getting started. Don't know we're going super late, but you never know. Dragon B in the house. What's up, Dragon B? Good to see you, Brian. Happy early birthday. Haven't decided to pour for the evening yet. Mm, that's a good question, buddy. Um, since it's uh, a Tuesday and it's the 19th of the month, maybe something with 19 in the name. Like if you have an old Forester, 1910, 1920, 1924, what else has 19 in the, in the name? There's, there's definitely other things out there, but maybe. And if not that, just whatever you feel like drinking. I mean, that's about as much thought as I'm going to put into it. John says the audio is great. Hold on. Let me see if that's true. John, is that true? Yeah, it sounds great. Yeah. I, I, I did a lot of stuff today, yeah. not realizing that I had, I had done a lot of stuff in the past that screwed up my sound, and now I think I fixed it. I think I fixed it. And by it. the way, it is a mix. That's the way to do it, man. If you're gonna it, do was, it. Well, it was Coke Zero. It was Todd's birthday, and I'm like, well, let me would approve if I do barrel-proof Coke Zero. There you go. Well, you know what? You probably prove it down to just the right amount doing that. All right, let me bring a few, tasty, though. Let me bring a few more guys on. Yeah, it's got enough proof to cut through. Let me go ahead yep. and bring on Slapshots here, Z-Man's here, hey, and Zaxi. Yeah. All right, so we know what John's drinking. You guys know I'm toasting with 81 Wild Turkey. We got a Virginia gentleman. There you go. And nice. Andy's holding some whiskey. You guys are the worst. And uh, Brian, your sample flight will be going out tomorrow. Okay, let me bring one more on and get, and get the even six here. That's better. Now I can go through. So uh, slap shots on Kentucky gentlemen. Uh, Z-Man, what do you got going on? Benchmark bonded. Benchmark bonded, solid, solid. And Zach has a puppy dog. OKI, he's still on. Which OKI is that? I can barely hear you, Zach. It's like you're almost not there. 
it's it's, it's muffled. We'll move on for a second. What's up, Joshua? Joseph Magnus, Cigar Blend, Batch 126. Oh, so I'm excited. So not only is it my birthday on Sunday night, but three days later is me and Jen's wedding anniversary. So next Wednesday, a week from tomorrow. And always, it's the 27th of the month. So always on our wedding anniversary, at least for the last three years, we've drank Joseph Magnus, Cigar Blend, Batch 27. But I'm afraid it's going to be gone this year. I think we're going to finish that bottle. <laughs> That's where we are on that. We might, I might pour a little ounce or so off for posterity, but that, that'll be gone. That'll be gone. Yeah, those batches aren't probably much around anymore. No, no, that's <laughs> it's probably 2020. I think when that came out, so it's been a while. Uh, what, what kind of what kind of cigar you got there? Uh, I just grabbed a short one. It's a uh, called the Last Call. Okay. A uh, Al Fernandez. I'll pretend to know what you're talking about, but premium aged tobacco from oh. uh, where's that Honduras? Or something like that. Is that Hon- Honduras? Probably. 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 I don't. I don't buy American cigars. I can tell you that. Unless it's <laughs> no. Well, why would you? <laughs> the only thing America does right is whiskey and uh, I can't even say the other stuff because it get me banned. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, barbecue in there now. Barbecue, yeah, barbecue's good. Yeah. Here we we'll go around real quick. What, what else we got? We got barbecue. We got whiskey. We know they we do whiskey really well. What else does America do good? We used to do cars great. Not too sure yeah. about that anymore. Motorcycles. Motorcycles, we do well. That's a good yeah. one. Um, yeah, that's probably about it <laughs> that we can say on there. <laughs> All right, cheers, Ken. Good to see you. Got whiskey therapy in the house again. Good to see you again. Thank you. Little improvements here and there. There's about to be a bunch of other improvements going on. All the patrons will know about it first. Uh, some big moves happening over the next couple of weeks. If you want to know more about that, you got to join the Patreon. The link is in the description box below. Uh, we're about to do the whiskey uh, giveaways for, for a couple months. We're going to give away a couple bottles over there to patrons. Uh, patron rewards are going out, including new glens and samples and maybe some cookies for some people. Just random, random cookie drops. That's what we're going to start doing. So, did you say where that pick was going to be from? Not yet, because <laughs> it's uh, right now. I'm I'm bopping between multiple, so we'll see who ends up being the first because of scheduling and whatnot. That's kind of where I'm at. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, yep. that's cool. Okay. Yeah. Big cats in the house. What's up, big cat? Good to see you. Cheers to you and Bev Porter, who was here on Friday night for my three thousand sub anniversary of my three years. She's here for my birthday. Thank you, Mom and Porter. I'm going to cheers you and Big Cat at the same time. Cheers to both of you. Cheers, Big Cat, Mama Porter. Yeah, Here. Big Cat, Mama Porter. There you go. Major Zero's in the house. What's up, Adam? Good to see you. Happy birthday. Hit that thumbs up, sipping on a little Macallan 12 Sherry Cask. Nice. So, so I've been threatening to do like a Scotch stream, and I was like, I should do that tonight. And then I was like, I shouldn't do that tonight. I keep talking <laughs> myself out of it. <laughs> well, I got I to gotta make sure like Donald Rance can make it so he can tell me what I'm supposed to be tasting instead of what I'm actually tasting. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect stream because most of us bourbon drinkers have a bottle of Port Charlotte title waiting somewhere. I do, but I also have the PAC01 that I haven't opened yet. That oh, I'm wow. Gonna, okay. All right, which I'm, I'm really looking forward to. But yeah. I, have, I have some other scotches that, you know, they're, uh, they're few and far between and they're out of my reach, which means I have to prepare to drink them, which is. Um, out of reach financially, Port Charlotte just released an 18 year old. It's like, <laughs> yeah, no. Did you say out of reach financially? Did you play off of what I just said? That was brilliant. Yes. That was money, money. How much is it? I want to see if it's truly out of uh, I think MSRP was over three hundred. Oh no, that's out of reach. It's not out of reach. <laughs> for the, out of for reach the record, like no bottles I ever buy into the Virginia lottery. For some people, I mean, I've paid three seventy for one bottle, and I probably won't again. Yeah, yeah. I wish it was only one bottle I've paid that much for <laughs> before. It's definitely been more than that. Other than that, two hundred's been as high as I've gone. And it's not that I paid like super secondary prices on things. It's just that some of the stuff that I bought was that was kind of what retail was at the time. You know, it was just, mm-hmm. it was just high. It's just high. Yeah. All right. Hold on. So Major Zero is drinking McAllen 12. Whiskey Therapy is drinking Glenfiddich 14. Okay. Oh, the 14 is a good. That's the bourbon cask one. Yeah, I've got that one. But that I one's can't really get, good. 
it is really good. It was the so when I wanted to drink scotch, it was suggested to me by a few people to try that one and Buna Haben Twelve and yep, those are at a really good price, John. What's up? Brian, that's the brightest screen since T Rob. Not though. <laughs> like, here. like, look, you can oh, see that's the, way the better. Bar. Yeah, that's way better. Okay. Uh, well, oh, it might be how I saved the. It was a screenshot. It might have be. Uh, no, I guess. I mean, Donald, I agree with you. Oh, I, that's better. Well, hold on, let me get that. I don't know what any of that means. Oh, Michter's limited release twenty year. Yeah, did you get it? <laughs> Did you get it all? No, from? I, I entered today. Okay, well, if you win, let me know. And that and the twenty-five year. There's only one bottle of the twenty year, though. Okay, that's the one I want. And if you, if you, <laughs> yeah, win, that's yeah. Listen, if you win it, <laughs> if you win it, I'll buy it and you get a sample of it. It's hey, if I win, win it, I, you'll be the first one to know, man. That's a win, 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 win. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'll share it with people too, you know. It's one of those things. So. It'll be good. It'll be good. You'll take some cookies, Chris, soon, buddy. Soon. Got a long list. Got a long list. Drinking an Eagle Rare Ten Store Pick. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You do get a cheers for that. I like how you said Lemmy would approve on your mix, which is excellent. Yeah, Lemmy would definitely approve. Uh, she's feeling a little better already. It's just something. You know, it's nagging. It's allergy season in Florida, and then it turns into respiratory infections and nothing fun, nothing fun. I got ahead of it this year. I saw it coming this year, and I, I got way ahead of it. Jen Jen did not heed my warnings for weeks, <laughs> and, it, and it caught her. It got her. What's that, J-Max? This is uh, my 10-year-old motorcycle license plate. Yeah. Oh. I got a new one this year. A new motorcycle or just a plate? Just a new plate. Oh, okay. But you know, I I put almost no mo no miles on my bike every year, so you know. Now, when you say that, how many how many miles do you drive your bike? Well, I got it. I think with just over ten thousand, I did, I'm not sure if I've broken twelve thousand. Oh wow! You never ride that. Oh, I almost <laughs> never ride it. Good wow. God! I thought you were going to tell me like I got it at ten thousand. I'm at like twenty five. And no. I'd be like, yeah, you know, in ten years, that's that's not too bad. No, less than two thousand miles in ten years. To be uh, fair, I though, my bike, like I had my bike for five years and had eighty thousand miles on it. Wait, wait, wow. J Max just said it runs like a top. It it idles like a top. Boy, it just sits yeah, in it idle. idles. <laughs> and, so J Max, my aunt and uncle are both passed away, but they were they were in Iowa. Do they still put your county on your license plate? Do what? They still put the county on your license plate? Yeah, yeah, they do. Okay. Um, I lied. I have almost thirteen thousand miles, so I've maybe put three thousand on in ten years. Uh oh, man. that explains it right there. Not <laughs> enough. Not enough. All so right, hold on. Sure, go back to the chat. Hit the thumbs up. That's right. Do what Mama Porter tells you. Thank you. Okay. Birthday Sunday. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm probably gonna eat a steak. That's gonna be my. That's what I, really to do. what I really want to do. Last year was sushi. This year it's a steak. Uh, yeah, 1910. I might join you in some of that here in a minute since I'm done uh, cheersing people. But Donald Rance is here. Good to see you. Another Tuesday evening commute home from work with Whiskey Encore. Cheers. Cheers to you, Donald. I was just talking about the scotch thing. I'm, I'm kind of ready. I know there's good scotch out there, but I just don't have any. Yeah, I only have a few, but I think I'm going to pull them all down and, and just drink a little of each one and then it whenever donald tells me it's the right time we'll crack open that paco one and i'll have my mind blown apparently kind of looking forward to it movies uh music and movies in america yeah that's for sure we do michelin starred restaurants very well i didn't think about that we do have a great food scene but that's because we're such a melting pot you know with people from everywhere <laughs> People around here aren't afraid to just invent new food. They're like, you know what we should do? We should take a turkey and shove a duck. What else? And a chicken. And, a ch yeah. <laughs> and then put it in a, a hot grease. Yeah, and then let's deep fry it. That sounds great. That's actually <laughs> good. I'm not going to lie. There was a garage by my ex-wife's house that I could tell they deep fried a turkey. In. Oh, oh did they burn it down? <laughs> the whole thing was melted. Oh, the scorch mark in the okay, I am not. Oh, we can hear Zach now. Uh, I am not going to read this, but I'm going to highlight it for uh, four seconds. 
<laughs> All right, there's BT. Smash the like button. Well, hell, I, and then I thought I was American. Damn, I guess I'm not. Doggy style was invented in Canada, I heard, because then both you of you watch the hockey game. Yeah. <laughs> I've probably heard that before, but it's still good. That's still good. Oh, by the way, RIP Chris Simon. All right, hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Let's not bring it down too much, though. We're celebrating, but not that. Uh, he was a hockey tough guy. A lot of them have committed. Apparently, it was suicide. Oh. Yeah, it's been a lot of the guys that fight. All right, I'm going to kick John out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody say bye, John. Bye, John. Bye. Uh, I'll just change the subject. I'm pretty good at that. No, that's fine. <laughs> ball. Uh, yeah, well, kind of, right? Because there's no ball. No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> so hockey gets the exception because there's no ball. Yeah. Like, right, right. Boxing on ice. Yeah. It's coming. Sometimes. Sometimes it is. All right. I didn't hear what you, you were drinking because I couldn't it's see it. It's only round in that direction. Uh, yeah. Not it's uh, the batch one. Okay. I reserve. Okay. I have that one and it's not yeah. that great. It's. <laughs> I've got a couple of them. They're inexpensive around me, so it's not bad. Uh, the word is adequate. That's what it yeah. is. It's adequate whiskey. Not what you want to advertise yourself as, though. All right, Brandon Sierra, it's good to see you, buddy. OGD114 tonight. Happy birthday week. Also, my wife's birthday week. There you go. She's on Friday. That's awesome. So, wait, that would be the 22nd. So, she's just barely an Aries. That's what that is. For those of you who are into your astrological signs, I am not. I am not. But I am. I am an Aries. Everybody tells me that all the time. You're such an Aries. Pisces. You are a Pisces. That's true. I am. You are. You are. Uh, Donald Rance will do extremely horrible things for Port Charlotte 18. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know the price of admission. $20. Just $20. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, gotta, you, you just got to know the price of admission. That's just how it works. The, oh, wow. We have two Canadians back to back alert the media. We got Ben of the North in the house. Big whoop. Want to fight about it? Yeah, I'll fight about it. <laughs> I mean, I'm a super nice person, but I wouldn't cross uh, me. I wouldn't cross me. You didn't say cheers. So cheers. Canadians. They're so bad at cheersing people. Hey, Peach, just sorry. Remember, get the jersey over the head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tie them up in their sweater. You know how it is. And if that sweater, if the tie down comes off, then you're you're gone. Hold on, you Ben. Grab the, you, says, grab the, you grab the shoulders and bring them to one hand. And then, yeah, and then you just pummel, pummel. I think word is pummel, right? It's pummel. It, correct. It's, it's a it's a pummeling. Uh, yeah. Ben says that Port Charlotte 18 isn't a Klondike bar. I don't know what that means. Duly nasty, thanks, Martin. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go pick up a package of those though the next time I'm in the store. What Klondike bars or a package yeah, of are so uh, Port Charlotte 18? You can get multiples. <laughs> Might as well hook a brother up. You know what I'm saying? Jerry right. Black just poured a Baker seven years that's actually eight years, 11 months, and it's phenomenal. Oh, yeah. That sounds phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> it does. It sounds really good. I don't have any Bakers. Isn't that crazy? I probably well, they went crazy. Up have like you had 10, the 13 up to 60, I've had samples uh, of them. They were $59.99 here. Now they're $69.99. So yeah. I will not be buying them unless they are over eight. Yeah. yeah, I think most of them are, aren't they? They're, they're kind the of seven is plenty good enough for the price. Yeah, yeah I just finished um, one from uh, Chase Bell. That's only eight year, eleven months. Oh, okay, well that's that really cool. good. That was good. It was Thanks, very good. Tommy. Appreciate it. You do get a cheers, and I'm going to pour something else. that's delicious. Cheers, Tommy. I Not picked sure up a Heaven Hill it. Seven bonded for like forty two something. Yeah, year. the price of those have dropped around me. So they had made it yeah. all the way up to like sixty bucks, and now I'm back to seeing them at around forty, forty one and change. Um, much better price. What's that? That's a much better price. Yeah, that's a reasonable price for a seven year bottled and bond whiskey. That's I think forty is actually really reasonable. And uh, McKenna Ten is back down around me too. Uh -huh. you, it was it got all the way up to ninety nine, and we almost never saw them. Then it came down to 79 and we kind of saw them a little bit more, but now I can pretty much go out to a store and buy a McKenna 10 for 60 to $65. Hmm. But at that price, do you really want to take that? No, I, ha <laughs> I, I, I just have plenty of them and you know, I don't find myself reaching for the ones I have very often, but that's what it is. Uh, I've then, heard they're really hit or miss. They, they are. Mm -hmm. All right. So mostly on the miss, but. mostly on the miss. <laughs> so for me, if I had to average it out per 10 bottles, I'd say out of 10 bottles, 
Um, two of them are going to be pretty good, and maybe one of those two is something you would want another one of, but you're never going to get another one of them. And then out of the remaining eight, five of those are absolute just garbage. They're not good at all. <laughs> and then the other ones are passable. But you're only going to get one or two out of ten that's, you know, ten different barrels that's, you know, a, a whiskey that you don't mind drinking or whatever. <laughs> right. That's not high enough for that price. Oh. No, no, for the price. Oh, Kara's here. So speaking of uh, showing back up, I'm not sure of the price, but the Evan Williams single barrels are starting to show up outside of Kentucky. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Sounds good to me. Sign Which up. were a really good bottle back in the day. Back in the day, yeah. We'll cycle back. Everything's cyclical. Uh, Bev Porter, not a fan of turducken. <laughs> I mean, she's not. I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You either like it or you don't like it. I, I like the uh, the Italian version of it. It's called a porchetta. <laughs> it's uh, you know you just stuff you stuff pig with more pig. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, of course. Delicious. It's delicious. I had yeah. duck for the first time in a Chinese restaurant. Oh, I love duck. <laughs> it was That's fantastic. Good. I love it. You do it you right. Peking duck or it was Denver, Colorado. I can't say for sure. I didn't. <laughs> I just, oh. just roasted duck. <laughs> But it, yeah. I, I just ate it. It was really greasy and it really good. Duck in a Chinese restaurant is really good, though. Yeah, that's true. It's all the MSG. On everything. Yeah. Unless, unless you have a bad reaction to MSG, it's it's not bad for you. It's not that. It's nothing. I haven't to date. No. I had one bad reaction like forever ago. Like When I say forever ago, I mean it was like in the early 1990s. That's how long ago it was. Mm. And I went to this really fancy... Um, Chinese banquet uh, for a family like they had rented out this whole place and there was food there I'd never seen before like it's like oh this is the secret shit they don't put on the menu and it was and I probably had too much of it but um, all, all I know is about two hours after I ate everything started getting puffy like really puffy like <laughs> oh, shit. yeah oh. it was not good and I was like oh I'm just having a re- re- allergic reaction to the shrimp or something mm-hmm. oh, fish, yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was absolutely the MSG, but I had a lot of it. That's back when I didn't care about how much I ate. I just ate everything as much as I could. Yeah. I don't I've like, never cared you know. how much you ate, Cheech. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. I'm going to go eat something <laughs> right now. Uh, you're in charge. <laughs> Grilled cheese at this hour, I'm telling oh, you. Oh, I'm, I'm so carb free right now. I can't. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. It is for now. It is for now. We'll see. I'm trying to age gracefully, you know, <laughs> fighting an uphill battle here. Does that mean no cookies? Uh, I don't eat the cookies. Really? I give them away. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's how that's how the word on the street got out uh, about Jen's cookies. Is I would take the ones that I was supposed to eat and I'd pawn them off to my friends. And then people started talking about Jen's cookies. And then like I was like, I don't have to eat. I love them. Don't get me wrong, but I try, to, I try to get rid of every one of them she makes. I'm like, I can send these to somebody else. I, I would get rid of every one she ate too if I lived there, but they wouldn't go to other people. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you know, you know. Some some people know. Uh, Fast waves here. What's up, Tom? Good to see you. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, it's not quite the birthday, but it's about to be. E. H. Taylor single barrel store pick. I got a couple of those, man. Nice. So good. So good. That's the good stuff. That is the good stuff. Cheers to that. Yeah, the music got mellow on me again. What happened to my upbeat fun? Do better, music. The problem is Buffalo Trace store picks are like gold. Everybody wants them. So. Yeah, yeah, they're they're good. You're not, you're not wrong because they're good. You know, <laughs> mm-hmm. I didn't say they suck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they are good. Tater Dom's here. What's up, Dom? Good to see you. Yeah, early birthday, early birthday. Like I said, I'll probably be on somebody else's stream between now and my birthday, but not my own stream. So if you're gonna super chat, this is this is the one you got to do it on. It's a joke. <sighs> you guys are the worst. <laughs> I'll super chat that. Hold on. No, you don't. <laughs> I'm not even giving anything away, but I can tell you there might be some cookies in your future. Oh, crap. I'm on my phone. I don't. I, I think you I do not. Listen. You do not have to super chat. Your, I would have. Your, your, your contribution is being on screen with me with your weird, fucked up angle in your camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, need to get I feel like I'm in a Kubrick film. It's a garage. It's just a garage. It's a lovely garage, though. Oh, you did get some bike. Hold Don't on. mind the chains and <laughs> yeah, the the meat hooks, huh? <laughs> uh, Never mind the hooks. Forty-seven degrees here in Florida right now. Forty-seven. Beautiful. Forty-seven. I'm at fifty here in 
Devin Pitt, Iowa. 21090 in the house. That's who I'm talking about. I was waiting for you, Todd. When is your birthday? I know it's right around now. Mine's on Sunday. I was trying to get in on your chat earlier, but you guys wrapped right as I was showing up. That's what happened. Oh, there's the bike. Can you see it? I can't. We can now. Mm-hmm. There you go. There you go. What is that? Uh, like a 96? No, it's an 07 Suzuki Boulevard. <laughs> I'm just talking shit like I know what I'm talking about. 800 <laughs> cc's of, uh, you know, roadster action. Mm. Wow. Just a cruiser. 800 cc's of taking up garage space. Since you don't Which is weird because you would think an American <laughs> motorcycle would be measured in cubic centimeters. <laughs> yeah. I you couldn't know? tell you. That's not even a liter, is it? 800 cc's? I don't think so. No, you're talking about no. 200 short. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many cubic inches that is. Sorry. <laughs> not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put it this way, Chief. Come on. It'll go fast enough that I don't want to go any faster. Yeah, you don't want to leave the driveway, apparently. <laughs> well, right. you know, it's only really nice here in Iowa about three months out of the year. Yeah, yeah, that, that'll keep your mileage down for sure. Uh, Todd did say he's cleaning up, and I think that, I don't know what that means. But happy Andy birthday, Andy Mike. Happy, bur- happy Andy birthday, Todd. Glenn. Yeah, Andy dropped oh, it like a million pieces. Oh, yeah. That's not it's good. My, I, I told Todd he should take it out of Andy's paycheck. <laughs> I like how Todd wouldn't let Andy super chat Todd during the stream because he's like, he's like, we got to pay a percentage of that to you too. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you know, the, the th- I got there right at the end and there's like, uh, the theme is uh, you got to suggest a song that mm-hmm. reminds you of Todd. And I wanted to put Frank Zappa only in it for the money. <laughs> but that, that's not accurate. Not accurate. I'm, just, I'm just talking shit. That's what it is. Uh, Ben, eat something, buddy. Eat something. Like pull over and grab a moose or something like that. Not moose. <laughs> <laughs> moose. <laughs> well, he's in Canada. There's things are everywhere, right? You just knock shit, one over. If he killed a moose, he'd only eat like you know a little bit of it. He's got a family. Drag that shit home and feed them all. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, I'm not that Alex's house. She's told me to grab you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, you got to sneak up on him. You don't want you don't want to tip your hand. Uh, McKenna ten was thirty five. Yeah, back in the yeah, day. Exactly. Back in the day, tough to get past that. It was twenty five uh, back in the day. But. Yeah, way way back, way back when it was in black and white. Uh, I mean, even Eagle Rare was twenty five bucks back then too. There you go. Yeah, right. That it wasn't was. that long ago, though. So here's a no. That's eighteen nineteen. That here's a McKenna ten from uh, two thousand and eight. Mm. Right there, right. and I don't. I don't think I paid more than forty bucks for this, and it was probably more like the thirty five that uh, BT was talking about. Do you like it? He hasn't opened it. Uh, I've opened several because I bought several. <laughs> the same barrel? Um, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, that's the last one. I had, oh, damn it, I just finished one off that was a 2006, and that one was fantastic. Yeah. One mm-hmm. it is I, get one, I get one good batch, I'll buy more of them, but I got two that are in the bunker. One of them tastes like plastic. So I'm like, oh, oh yeah, that's what I said. A lot of the <laughs> ones are hit or miss. Yeah. 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 And, I, and I held on to them. What's up, Bourbon? What's up, buddy? I mean, cheers, people, dude. Somebody said you have some better whiskey for me. Yeah. What do you What are you drinking right now, Cheech? I'm drinking Wild Turkey 81. From oh, yeah, uh, you, from, you've been on that for a minute, but it was a handle. Since I it? started, yeah, it's uh, this is the last of them. I'll never get another one of these. I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure this is the last I'll ever see of this. But this one is far. I won't say it because I don't want to drink. But you know, there's this thing on the back that tells you how old it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> got to circumvent saying it these days. Um, but this series one, of letters and numbers. This this one yeah. says something about it being like uh, as far as the. Uh, the translator that I found on Reddit that this is like 2012, so it's you know gone forever. That's what that is. I've never seen another one of those. So, you might, you might. Don't say that you'll never see it again. It's the third one I've had. <laughs> People know you like it, though. That is true. That is true. That is true. All right. Oh, Andrew's here. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Cheers, Cheech, and Cheech fans around the world. <laughs> Cheers to that, Andrew. Okay, what's that, Zach? Zach's got to learn to sit closer to the camera or get longer or get longer Ooh, arms. Yeah. <laughs> I'm myself going to kill that. Has that one got a name or is that just an Ohio pick? It's a select two from 2018. Right. I got you, got you. 
Well, nothing wrong with those. Those are pretty yeah. solid. I got I got a cheers, Andrew. All right, Donald's got some info on the duck from us from a real culinary master. Duck is magical. Agree. The best roast in the world for duck is in Montreal. I'm not even going to say it, but it's it it, it, it translates. <laughs> these aren't chickens. I know that. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what the translation is from Fran, from, from uh, Francais to uh, to Gringo. Uh, these aren't chickens. <laughs> if I went into some place that had a Michelin star, I wouldn't know how to act. Well, the best thing to do is just keep your head down, stay out of trouble, and just nod. Like when they <laughs> offer something, just go. Yeah. yeah. You don't know me. You I'll know. never see you again. You'll never see me again. That's <laughs> JD's here. What's up, JD? Oh, it's getting close to JD's sure, birthday. JD. Too. Yeah, buddy. Five so days close. to Cali. That's right. Going back to Cali. Cali. Yeah. I place an LL if I could, but I'd get demonetized. Happens How do sure. all these other people do it? They just they don't monetize getting... their streams or they aren't monetized at all. Do they still get the super chats? Yeah, you still get your super chats, but you don't get your ad revenue. And I really depend on that $3 a month. <laughs> <laughs> that $3 a month is super important to me. It, well, it was... I'm glad that it worked out for you, Teach. I got it up almost to $6 once, but that's been a while. I'll have to start watching the whole yeah. ad, Cheech. Yeah, yeah, please. Like, if you can, so there's a playlist. It's 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 a live, but there's a playlist on my channel called Every Whiskey Encore Stream. It hasn't been updated in like a year, so I probably should do some work on it. But it is, so it's a, a playlist I put together when I was trying to get my 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 viewing hours to get monetized. Uh -huh. So we would just sign in under multiple accounts on multiple devices and just let the playlist play and repeat. Yeah. But you can do that for my ad revenue too. And maybe, you know, in April I'll get $4. I'll put it on in the background at work. <laughs> at work. I think we've all done it for some creators just to give them more. Water. Yeah. 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 So yeah. when I was going through that, there was other channels that were already at a thousand subs, but they hadn't hit their watch hours. I was like, listen, you need to make a playlist of everything you do. And just have people put that shit on repeat, and I think that's how we got Audrey on over, and uh, maybe Women Whiskeys, and a few other channels for sure. For sure. I've done a few. Yeah, Audrey almost know. never posts any videos though, does she? She's busy being a doctor. Yeah, her, uh, yeah. her life is slightly more important than ours. <laughs> She's trying to find a cure for Alzheimer's, and we're trying know, to find right? a cure for thirst. She's working on my cure. I'm doing preventative maintenance on that stuff. Yeah. That's my plan. Florida Nate is in the house. What's up, Kevin? Good to see you, buddy. Happy early birthday, Cheech. E.H. Taylor barrel proof in your glass for this one. Oh, damn. I might be heading to an E.H. Taylor here in a second. That could be Ooh. where I'm heading. I'm not sure what right. you mean, though. But you get a cheers for that. I might be on the I might be in the group that likes the small batch better than the barrel proof. I love small batch. I think that's one of the yeah. best drinking, like when it was thirty dollars, hell when it was forty dollars. <laughs> I would I would drink that literally all the time. Yeah, we're talking about sixty dollars, honestly. We're talking about the McKenna and the Igor Airbnb twenty five. When yeah. that was forty years Taylor, I'd buy that every day. Yeah, the uh, yeah. H Taylor small batch at forty is a buy. At fifty it's a buy. At sixty it's probably a buy. At seventy it's if you don't have one and you need one, yeah. <laughs> actually, I've got more other E.H. Taylors than I do a uh, small batch. I have one small batch left, and then I got a bunch of others. I would love, to, I would love to shit you, but I'm not. I'm not shitting you, no. Hold on, whiskey therapy's in Florida as well. That's right. I remember you saying something about that the other night. Fifty-two for you. It's forty-seven for me here. You know what I'm saying? Fifteen days apart, Ben. There you go. <laughs> I miss look at ASM, look at ASMR, ASMR's comment. Chat. Oh, I'm not there yet. I'm still uh, I'm oh, eight yeah. minutes behind. But I want to get one dub. Chris threw me two dollars and eight cents after uh, YouTube's cut. I'm gonna see a buck fifty. Dollar forty one of that. Dollar forty one. <laughs> thanks for the. Thanks for almost the buck. And I appreciate it, Chris. You didn't have to do that. You definitely did not have to do. That. What's the YouTube percentage? I thought it was thirty. Thirty three. They get a full third. Full third. Wow. Those bastards. <laughs> is that the only time they get money, though? What do they get it from the advertising? Uh, so if I have, like, chance. So here's the thing. You get you get revenue sharing when it comes to ad placement, but your revenue sharing, you get, like, 
I don't want to exaggerate and be wrong, but you get like 1% of whatever the ad <laughs> spend is. And YouTube gets the other giant part of it. Um, when it comes to super chats, they get a third. Yeah. If you have channel memberships involved, I don't have mine, mine set up. They would get a third of that as well. So pretty much it's a third, third on whatever you get. And then anything they provide you, you get maybe 1% or it might even be like half a percent at this point, but it ain't much. I can tell you that. You don't want to put out a drum kit or something for your. <laughs> what? Uh, the, the YouTube subscribers. Uh, you know, it's funny. I, maybe I'll go ahead and mention it. So I'm no, I'm not going to do it. Okay. Patrons, patrons, there's some news coming. And the drumming, you brought that up, but we'll see. <laughs> well, it used to be 25 bucks. It sure did. Jeez. <laughs> we'll never get back to that again. Never. Mother 12 is not that good, though. No, I'd rather have the Antique 107. Yeah, uh -huh. agree. For sure. Yeah. For sure. I love the mix, but that's about it. Yeah, the mix is really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Marty's here. What's up, Marty? I'm going to try to catch you up. We're only seven minutes behind. Cheers to you, Marty. Good to see you. The whiskey knows, knows. He does, he does. All right. There we go. People keep bringing up the McKenna. I'm looking for one dated January 23 for your niece. Name McKenna. Anybody that's got one, keep your eyes open at any one of them you see in the store. You see one that says 123 on it any year. Let's let's procure that for Andrew so he can have one for his niece that he can hold on for. I haven't for. seen a McKenna since COVID lockdown. They're coming back. I've seen a couple, everywhere. but never Not at the price that I would want to buy them. Yeah. Well, I don't know if Andrew's got a price on that. It's like a sentimental thing, so yeah, he'd probably, he'd probably go a little over retail. Would be my guess. Mister yeah, Mark, Mark. here. What's up, Mark? Good to see you. Hey, Mark. Cheers, Mark. Cheers, Mark. The ads are insulting. <laughs> they really are. There you go. They are. To get in here, I had to listen to an unsuitable ad for the Olive Garden. Do they not know she? Oh my God! I'm I'm going to complain. I'm going <laughs> to. That is now discriminatory actions upon upon Google. You That's guys support right. that ad, all of you. Inappropriate. I was always better help. Saturday, just so. I have not eaten at an Olive Garden. I could tell you the last time I ate an Olive Garden. I, ha I didn't have a daughter yet. She's 11, so it was before oh then. <laughs> and I can tell you the last time I went there, I went there with my wife when we used to work together. So we're really going back. Ooh. And we didn't eat anything but salad and chicken and gnocchi soup. <laughs> That's what we had for lunch. So That's still, so still not eating anything uh, Italian from the Olive Garden. How hey. many breadsticks did you have? I don't eat those. That's not my job. Now. No. no, but I'm all about the salad and the pepperoncini. Uh, the salad. Yeah, the salad. The salad right. is good. Yeah, like when they, when they come over and they're like, tell us when to stop. Don't. <laughs> yeah. When your arm gets tired. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, no. I'm like <laughs> once you <laughs> land the bass, <laughs> once you land the bass, you can stop. <laughs> I didn't mind their, uh, they have pretty good minestrone now. They have what? Pretty good minestrone. Yeah, yeah, the soups are all right. Yeah, but you know they're still mass producing some kitchen in. Oh yeah, or something. Donald Grant's oh, here. Hey. hey guys, what are you whipping? Hey, <laughs> Cheers, Donald. <Dom. laughs> so I'm grab a box. Some red, red breast. Red breast. There you go, buddy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I figured I'd come on and have a pour with you guys before I had to head off. Right. We just gotta we gotta figure out what me and you can hang out and I can break out the uh, break out the scotches. And, yeah, just let me know. I'll, um, well, I, I stream live on Tuesday starting at 11.15 p.m. Eastern. No, Standard. I know. <laughs> you know. We're Eastern Daylight Savings Time now. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, I mean, just let me know when you want to do it, and I'll make sure I'm home from work. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. I don't think it'll be next <laughs> Tuesday because that's the night before my anniversary, and I don't want to drink anything with too much meat before I go out. I have a delicious steak for my anniversary whatever but maybe the week after i'll let you know i'll let you know. okay i'll cool. just hit you up on discord yeah yeah the best day in march is the 27th okay cool yeah i it's, beg uh, to disagree well it's next wednesday is jen and i's 20th wedding anniversary congratulations 20 years yeah congrats and she hasn't gotten rid of me yet Dang, I have two marriages that don't equal that much. <laughs> Hold on, we got whiskey therapy in the house. What's up, whiskey therapy? You came hey, on right. Hey, hey, gents. How you doing? I mean, hey, Good, I, you? 
I've never been Which, married, so I mean, 20 years with the same person is just like, oh wow, what the hell? Donald's doing it right over there. Well, you got you guys have met you kind of some of you have met my wife in person. A lot of you have seen her online. You kind of yeah. know why I'm staying with her, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> of your good looks. That's what it is. Yes, she stays with me because of the, the hairline. Trophy she husband. Yeah. 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 I'm a trophy husband. Exactly. See, you guys get it. There it yeah. is. Man. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. The man. truth was oh, bound to come heck? out. Bourbon, Bourbon Battalion in the house. What's up, Bobby? Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I keep having them every year, it seems. Right around <laughs> this time of the year. It just happens. Yeah, just Donald, small. that was fun Sunday night. I had a hell of a day yesterday. Yeah. Where were you guys at on, on Livewire on Sunday? Yeah. Yeah, Livewire on Sunday. And then last night I was on for like five hours on Whiskey Crusaders. Oh, so, <laughs> back to back, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Good for you, Donald. No wonder you're calling into early tonight. <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> I would too. I would too. All right. Uh, Chris just saw five McKenna tens on a shelf for 65 pass them. We can go back and check. Yeah, go back and check and see. I mean, that would be awesome if we if we get that hooked up, you know. Yeah, I actually I I feel bad for Matt because by the time we got off, he's like, I have to go wake Violet up in four hours and take her to school. Oh, oh god. god. <laughs> yeah. That's Wait, a... Violet was asleep. Yeah, Violet was sleeping actually. So. It was two a.m. It was two a.m. No, it was like. It was like um, 4 a.m. Oh, yeah. goodness. Yeah. Even yeah. for him in Texas? Yeah, 4 a.m. in Texas. Oh, sh shit. Uh, yeah. Clint Hickey's here. What's up, Clint? Good to see you, buddy. Cheers to you. I met I Violet in person. Was was funny. Well, I mean, Violet in person is something to behold, I've been told, because the first time she punched my friend Travis in the junk, First time meeting <laughs> oh, shit. just walked up and just punched him in the junk and then we just walked away. It's like uh what? A great introduction. Yeah. yeah. Well you yeah. know I mean adult. Do. It's very um it's very good to establish boundaries yeah. as quickly as possible. <laughs> I, I've met uh the whole Zitrick family and then uh Travis Waller at a distillery here locally. Yeah. yeah, well she she punched Travis in the junk the first time. <laughs> she didn't even say hello, she just walked up and huh. punched him in the junk. I just she, remember they were leaving the dominance. distillery. I they got in the it. rental car. Oh god, Chief. I said she's just asserting her dominance. I can get I get by. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they were leaving the distillery. They're getting in the car, and Violet turns around. Later, bitches. <laughs> Just, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to say hi to Who Flung Dung. It's good to see you, buddy. Yeah, pre-birthday. Sipping on some Larceny C923. Oh, oh, I got some good news. Uh, apparently, I have an Elijah Craig C923 in transit. Like, it's uh, when? like some gnomes are supposed to get it here before the end of the week. So maybe next week I'll be cracking one of those and finally getting... <laughs> one in my possession i've tasted it but i do not own one I, I, just have, I just have to say john you have no idea i have seen letters that she wrote to her sister after like touching her stuff <laughs> right. I, I don't want to i don't want to out her too much you know, you know no but it was protect just the like, anonymity as much as possible oh, wow okay i just and, couldn't imagine i just couldn't imagine this matt's wife was so quiet yeah well i then Violet, you know, tells yeah. me one one night when we're in like a uh, private chat on Discord, she hops on and she says hi. And then you know, she's like, you know, when I grow up, I want to be a CIA interrogator. And I'm like, what the fuck? I've already confessed to everything she needs me to confess to. You. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. Names only you. Yeah. <laughs> just don't, like, just don't punch hey, me. Start out of an interview and get what you want. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Mark, I saw that come through. Thanks, buddy. I really do appreciate that. Oh, that was man. awfully nice of you. That was. That was super nice. I can't believe it. I can't believe it at all. What the heck? Emily Chambers is here. What's up, Emily? Good to see you. Merry birthday, Cheesy, yeah. at Whiskey Encore. I like all those things. That sounds great to me. Cheers, Emily. I think the Cheesy is supposed to be a cheers, though, so I'm going to give her a cheers because I think that's really <laughs> nice. But the birthday cake's nice. I won't be having any birthday cake, though. What are you going to have? See, some I don't like thing? cake. I have birthday brownies. Um, yeah, you do. Um, <laughs> brownies. <laughs> wow. Wow. What, what? I don't think I'll have anything that's considered a treat at all for my birthday. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably not going to have Whiskey. anything. Yeah. Mm. Uh, 
maybe maybe whiskey. I'll probably have a cocktail out at dinner, you know, that kind of thing. So uh, here, I'll tip I'll tip the hand a little bit. We're we're in the first hour. There's some people here who know her, but uh, Shayla and her husband are going to be in town this weekend for my birthday. Oh, oh nice! Yeah. Oh, cool. so Jen and I are going to go hang out with uh, Shayla and Bernie, and uh, probably have a drink or two. Or Ooh, nice. Enough to Uber. Do you know at what the sushi place. What's that? At the sushi place. Uh, no, no, we're not going for sushi. I don't know where we're going for, but definitely not going for sushi with them. I don't know. Maybe they like sushi. I think Shayla likes sushi. I'm not too sure about Bernie. All right. I'm pouring more cheers in whiskey because nobody suggested anything else. Whiskey therapy suggests something that's not scotch or, or Irish. There you go. See if I have it. So I've got, so I've got some 1910. Oh, yeah. That's what I said I was going to drink. That's good. All right. Okay. I got to cheers one more person because I just saw a couple of people come in. I said one more, but then I noticed there's two more. There's Shelby's here. What's up, Burton? Good to see you. I buy YouTube ads. Uh -huh. Part of my job. My campaign literally averaged four cents to buy her. And you're making three dollars pretty. That's three dollars over a course of an entire month with everything. <laughs> with everything. It's funny because some of my older streams, older videos, uh, like, and I mean older, like two years older, still get a lot of views. Like the uh, Children of the Corn whiskey, the Halloween things that one still gets a lot of views here and there not not all the time but uh i get it there we go there's the person i need to cheer sean's here what's up pal Adonis? oh hey, yeah hey, pal pal. Adonis told me to tell you if you yeah. guys are not on the whiskey honor uh encore discord we're almost at 100 people on the whiskey encore discord yeah. and it's more than just whiskey everybody here who's yeah. on it know it's more than whiskey you could talk about Bars, food. Cars. we have channels you'll be hungry food. after you get on there John posts all that good shit I will say, yeah, yeah. The, the food channel is probably the most the most yeah, <laughs> yeah. The food yeah. Channel is fun to look at yeah, yeah the last couple at. of days yeah, yeah, cheer, yeah cheers Sean I love it I love the food one yep so most, good. So most good. people like bottle porn. Keith likes yeah. food porn. Well, you know, uh, I see bottles every day. I don't. <laughs> I don't always. I don't always see like people knocking out like uh, you know, uh, birria tacos. You know, out, out of a hotel room that, that look as good as some of the stuff. I mean, Sean puts out some good stuff. I don't know how he does it, but yeah. he does. It. He does it. Uh, no, he does. Yeah. Okay. M says no birthday card. Send them to me. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. You 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 definitely need some cookies in your life. And you're close. You you you'll get them fresh. They'll be like literally hours old when you get them. No, I I, I love the um uh you know the food uh, part of the uh, Discord because it's like wait you worked in the kitchen where did you go to school oh I went <laughs> here and it's just like. Where'd you work? Holy crap! Wow. Listen, listen that run that you and B Bauer went on the other day. I was just, I was just reading that, and I was like, "Damn, I'm hungry. I'm so hungry." I'm like, nobody makes sauces anymore. Yeah, I do, I do, but nobody else I know really cooks with sauce or anything. Like yeah, that. really. Get a recipe and make a barbecue sauce from scratch. It's so much better. Uh, Jen just uh -huh. made barbecue sauce from scratch uh, about a week ago. Yeah, I don't eat it because of the sugar. I, barbecue stuff, John, I make it myself. Yeah. Yeah. When I do pulled pork, I do. Uh, I've got a recipe for a South Carolina mustard sauce that I make from scratch. There you go. That's yeah, so good. Nice. There you yeah, go. Yeah, we were going. Uh, we were going on about like classic French sauces, like yeah. Espanol and. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that stuff just gets me all hot and bothered because it's just like, why don't they teach that anymore? Good God. Mm -hmm. like, because people uh, want things for convenience. They don't want to take five minutes to make a sauce. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Like, Oh, this five minutes is way too long. Tom Harper's here. What's up, Tom? Good to see you. And uh, Tony uh, Bag of Donuts gets me with the second account. So the only people <laughs> to get two cheers have more than one account. Mm -hmm. That's funny. All right, cheers, fellas. Uh, I saw Lopez came in, but you're gonna have to wait a second. I'm gonna find some 1910. My best friend's uh, mom moved, moved to Florida, and mm -hmm. she used to have me over for Sunday dinners where she would cook for like eight to ten hours. Yes. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh, Italian too. Double Ooh. yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. And then she would push it on you until you couldn't breathe. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, I, manja, manja. Yeah, I manja, up, exactly. How about an old 1910? Oh, nice. Oh, nice. That sounds delicious. Let me put, I'm getting a clean glass for this one. Yeah, I ended up uh, pre cooking the um, St. Patrick's mm -hmm. dinner for work. So I got um, probably about 
two and a half to three kilos of uh, ground lamb from a local producer. And then I had... Uh, What's the street group? value on that? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know, you don't want to know. It's, it's, <laughs> you said three kilos, so six uh, pounds or so. Yeah, roughly. And then um, about seven pounds, roughly, yeah. Okay. So. I did... Um, rutabaga leeks carrots onion celery in the mix and yeah. then um i had the lamb stock that i made from uh, roasting down bones from the rack the ribs there the you go bit. lots of collagen and, uh, lots of elastin oh yeah and then poured some guinness in there and then i also did um a whole bunch of uh other um things to it like worcestershire through some uh to tomato paste yeah, uh, fresh thyme, fresh rosemary. Oh, all that's sounding good. Yep, and then and that's just another thing it... America does well is Worcestershire. <laughs> I grew up with rutabagas, and you really don't see them anymore. No, well, and and they're great with the uh, like uh, traditional stews and with lamb. Yeah, so you're gonna be drinking there for yeah. a while. You know, I, I grew up eating them, and then if I go to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, they're big into the Cornish pasties up there. Oh, Cornish so you get the beef and orange pa pasties with the rutabaga in it. Oh, Cornish dude. pasty yeah, has to native have. Native Uper. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, and where, see, are you I, at, I, where are you at now? So I'm north of Green Bay here, so I'm probably about 40 minutes from Menominee. Yeah, I'm from Iron Mountain, so I'm about uh, two hours north of where you're from. Okay. Nice. What's yeah. your first name so we know? Jason. Jason, okay. okay we okay, need a Jason. We don't have a yeah, Jason. Yeah, well, I mean, Cornish pasties are the <clears throat> traditional food of, like, uh, you know, Cornwall in England, and they always have. Uh, so the, the the English call them Swedes. Here in um, Canada, we call them turnip. Same thing as in Scotland and Ireland. Mm -hmm. And then they have uh, another name, and uh, of course, rutabaga in the U.S. And then I think in Australia, it's interchangeable between rutabaga and turnip. Huh. Just, they call, yeah, they call uh, the turnip the white turnip, yeah. same as we do here. So. Right. Yeah. yeah, but they are so good. We get the pasties, and then my mom would make like the homemade stew with beef, potatoes, carrots, and rutabagas when we were growing up. Oh, oh yeah, he's hungry. Oh, man. <laughs> Mr. Lopez is here. What's up, Lopez? Happy early birthday, Don Chicharron. <laughs> Howdy to the entire Encore crew, ladies and gents. There you go. Cheers yeah, to Lopez. that, Lopez. Good Cheers, to Terrell. I yeah, so Chicharroni pizza right about now. Yeah, I mean, I I did the whole uh, St. Patrick's Day meal. I even made um, homemade uh, custard. Oh, really? On top of, yeah, I did. I did like full on Devonshire cream custard. Oh, like, I made uh, wait just hearing you talk. Fifty five percent milk fat. Yeah, of course custard. it is. If you're yeah. gonna do it, you got to do it right. Yeah, just uh -huh. here you go, J Max. I'll give you one. I'll send you one of these. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And then, like, the, the potatoes on top that I uh, put on the uh, shepherd's pie, what I do is I use 18 percent And down. <laughs> I'm sending you a phone over, buddy. <laughs> no, <laughs> people don't know that for what well, real shepherd's pie is. No, I know. And, and the whole thing is, like, the secret, <laughs> the secret to potatoes for shepherd's pie is – Put 18% cream on a low, low heat, heat it up, and then a great hack is to actually whip in herb and garlic cream cheese. There so you that go. Get the browning and the flavoring at the same time. What is yeah. that? Like the Rondelay stuff? Yeah, just. Uh. The problem is, Donald, everybody here thinks beef is shepherd pie. No, it's cottage and pie. Cottage oh, pie. Yeah, that's yeah. the yeah. language. Kicking it old school with the band aid. I saw that, buddy. <laughs> I did yeah, the, the corned beef in the crock pot, but I'm going to do the lamb Irish stew later this week. Yeah, and, and corned beef in the crock pot. I actually, um, my favorite way to do it is actually to brown it in the pan before throwing it in, not just throwing mm -hmm. it into a crock pot because then you don't get like the Maillard reaction. Yeah, you need the Maillard reaction. Yeah. First. Uh, we're just going to, it's going to change from Whiskey Encore. We're just going to turn into a cooking yeah. show. <laughs> <laughs> when I put it in the crock pot, then I'll put two bottles of Guinness in with it. But hey. you'll do that with anything. Yeah, but <laughs> well, pretty much, yeah. That can be a bit much if you don't balance it out with some acidity and also yeah. stock. So. Yeah. 
Hey, yeah, well, my just just... got beef stock in with it. But... Hold on. Got here late after attending an amazing Texas Longhorns baseball game. A walk-off win. There you go. Uh, Bottom of the, of the ninth. ninth, I believe is what right. you mean. But yeah, yeah, damn. Good for you. I'm glad when your so team I'm going on to uh, another driftless pick from Ashton Journey from uh, Doc Nemenecker. Uh, that that Kenosha right. kicker. Is that gone? It looks like it's gone. It's in the glass right now, but it's a Kenosha kicker, right? You, you okay. can bring that out and get maybe another couple drops out of that bottle. Well, <laughs> maybe I'll chug that later. I don't know. There you go. Sagamore <laughs> eight. Oh, eight yeah. Slap shot's got it right there. That's All right, let me, let me let me cheers Miracle with this uh, 1910. Oh, good. Good. so good. good. That is so good. Did I miss hey, somebody? Oh, there we go. Darrell's here. What's up, Darrell? Good to see you. Hey, Darrell. 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 We got a uh, whiskey corner in there, too. Yeah, what? Carlos in the Who? house. Carlos. Oh, I'm just getting yeah. there. I'm getting there right now. There he is right there. Whiskey corner. There we go. What's up, whiskey corner? What's up, Carlos? Good to see you. Cheers, Mr. Lopez. Cheers, Carlos. He already knew that uh, that's Jason. I didn't know that was Jason until now. Now well, I know he lives, I got to keep he, repeating it so I remember it. He lives 10 minutes from me, so, you know. Oh, wait. So you're literally that close? Yeah. Because I'm not wow. sure. You know, you got to come up to my meetup next spring. Please. Carlos, is, Carlos has come the last two years. It's a good time. He'll tell you. Good whiskey, good people, good it food. We, we always make sure we eat. I can tell you that. It's a good time. He's uh, he's mentioned it. Yeah. Uh, Slapshot's been. He likes the barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> I like the barbecue, too. I might and order a little extra. Celebrate my fiftieth. That's right. Okay, what's the actual date, Brian? Because I'm going to center. I'm going to make sure my meetup. February February sixth. Oh, it's going to be perfect. Yeah, yeah. All right. So next, okay, if you're fiftieth. You know, I will definitely be there. If there's what? If it's Brian's fiftieth, I will definitely be there. Yeah, it's Brian's fiftieth. We're going to have a heck of a good time. Welcome back, Zach. <laughs> yeah, I took a crap. So I was like, oh, well, I'm, it I'm, happened. I'm going to bring this. Oh, from 1975. <laughs> that is insane. That That's is so awesome. crazy. That's courtesy of, of Ben. I hope nice. you don't expect any of that to go home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That will be killed. That's going to be a model that we kill for sure. Yep. For sure. Yeah. Oh, will... thanks, Carlos. I appreciate it, buddy. I will just say that will hurt in the morning and apologize to you at the same time. Uh, oh, that's why we're gonna. That's why. That's why we're gonna spread it above everybody who's at the meetup. I okay. made sure that everybody at my bottle share this year got a Z-Biotics. That's how. Yeah. Good, that's how caring I am. Everybody got one. That was. Expensive. I mean, <laughs> that was expensive. I, mean, I paid for them out of my pocket. It was expensive. Uh, does Does that one say it was made in Valleyfield, um, Brian? Oh, here we go. I would yes. expect that it would be. Where would that say it, Donald? Probably along the side of the label or on the back. Um, Valley Field, Quebec. Oh, not, nothing on the back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You guys so keep then. looking. Keep looking. Blake Benson's here. What the heck? I want to be cheers with Disco 3. Damn it, Blake. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, Donald, after Livewire tomorrow, yesterday morning, really hurt. Here's Disco 3 right there, Blake. I was okay. Uh, I'm going like, to pour a little of that and cheers, Blake, because Blake good is the best. That's what it is. Blake, I got to sleep in. Me. I had jury duty yesterday morning. I don't know. Hey, Chief, can you zoom? I don't have my glasses. Oh, I can read that shit. All right, hold on. I'm going to solo you. And then I'm going to pour some of this so I can cheers, Blake. Oh, so that's Waterloo. Okay. Uh, that, mm. There you go. All right. Cool. Am I the only one thinking of an ABBA song? Waterloo. Barely not. <laughs> No. So if you guys can find an actual Crown XR Waterloo, that's that actually cool. one of their most epic and legendary bottlings. Epic they and are, legendary. They are just so good. Oh, Holy crap. Waterloo? Yeah. Okay. If I find it dusty at all, I get ecstatic. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> just, so Waterloo actually put out great whiskey. Um, unfortunately, it burned down, and now the uh, mm -hmm. remnant shell is like turned into lofts. Oh. But it is so good. Like some of those releases they put out from the Waterloo Distillery, like I was even skeptical, and I'm like, Jesus, whoa, what the? These are great. What the hell, man? All right, let me get Blake's cheers. I poured some Disco 3 because Blake wanted me to cheers him with Disco 3, so he's going to get what he wants. <laughs> Uh, cheers, Blake. It's 
going to be completely different from the 1910 that I've been drinking. Oh, I probably should drink some water. I just looked. I have three full bottles of water, which means I've drank no water so far this stream. <laughs> they are in. Hey, I'm to be low yeah. proof until now, but uh, cheers, Blake. Good to see you. Cheers, Blake. Now that, that's actually going to be a really cool bottle mm. to get into, Brian. So that, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah. If it said Valleyfield, Quebec, I'd be like, mm. <laughs> don't open it. What's the proof on it, Brian? 40. It's a 40 <laughs> ABV. Yeah. Yeah. That's what all the Dusties are like. Yeah. Indie. Yeah. It's children's whiskey. <laughs> You'll appreciate it. No, one. no, it's probably and also got good. me that one. Oh, but mm. it's personalized. Chris and both of Pronger brothers signed it personalized. Oh, to wow, Chris that's Pronger, awesome. yeah, dude, that's cool. All right, let me let me chug some water real quick because it seems hey, like a good time right now. Yeah, Ben sent me both of those. I watched I watched Chris play a lot of games in person for St. Louis and for one oh, player yeah. to dominate a game. Yeah, and I also watched him get, you know, suspended quite a few times. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean he was a <laughs> nasty motherfucker. That. He was a Dude. nasty mugger. Yeah. All right, I just drank an entire bottle of water. That that should okay. get me there. And, it, yeah. and if you watched the there one you game you saw him almost die on the ice when he took the slap Jeez. shot to the heart. Took the slap I shot to the chest. I remember yeah. that game. Chest, yeah. Yeah, Ben. Thanks, thanks, buddy. I needed to yep. do that. <laughs> I definitely needed to do that. Oh, oh hey, thanks, guys. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate that. Yep. Uh, the patron stuff is about to go off. There's a bunch of new stuff going on. You guys mm -hmm. are gonna love it. The patrons are gonna love it. All right. Let's see. Uh, love the R X R Red Waterloo, and it's delicious. Of course, Terrell. Terrell would have it <laughs> or has had it. Faz is here. What's up, Faz? Good to see you. Chairs. Chairs. Cherish, Cheech. <laughs> That's how they say it down there. And happy early birthday. Yeah, yeah, it is early, but it's going to happen. You can't stop it, apparently. Oh, Every year. Uh, so, oh, well, when you stop it, things don't go well. No, I don't want to stop it. I want to be, <laughs> actually, I don't want to be super old. Can, can we have a moment here? So, Jared, oh, I agree with that. I don't want to outlive my youthfulness. Like, if there's nothing left that I can do, I don't want to, I don't want to hang on. You know. <laughs> So apparently Jerry Black also had a pour of the uh, Waterloo and found it delicious. Okay. For 20 bucks. Yeah, I was just reading that. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. Empty the bottle. That's one of the few bottles I got on the way back from Canada that my oh. dad absolutely loved. And I can't find any more of it, obviously. Which yeah, fine, but... yeah, they, they were one and done. That was it. Like mm -hmm. those, those few barrels that were left from Waterloo. Once they, uh, you know, filled them in the bottles, that was it. Done. If y'all yep. ever see a uh, cat's eye Polish rye, Jerry Black turned me on to that. I got one of those. It is. I've not got a wine finished rye. I had two, two of those. Left now, left. I had two of those. Now I've got one of those. Yeah, I've got <laughs> one almost full one now. Yeah, I've got one oh. unopened. <laughs> I don't want to open it. I Just poured a rye into a dirty glen that had some my uh, clear honey shine from last night. It's oh. all honey now. Oh wow. Oh. Damn. Rye and honey shine. Hmm. That must have been some strong honey if it was just in the glass. Yeah. Well, it imprinted. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, Blake, apparently the, the tiger story is bullshit. I haven't heard, Aww, I haven't heard about it lately. It, it isn't really there? I don't know. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of not on on like the socials or the, the information networks as often as I should be. Unless somebody brings it up again, I probably won't even check. So I guess I guess I should go look tomorrow and see what's going on with that. When the tiger's right not there, it's sad. It's what probably the right around the corner. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I just haven't been paying attention. Like they're like, as long as it's not in your backyard, you're like good. headline. It's like tiger in Cheech's neighborhood. Because <laughs> <laughs> they know who you are. He's not paying. Oh, I'm sure he does. Of course he does. <laughs> Florida man sees tiger. <laughs> right. <laughs> Florida man goes to get his mail and gets mauled by tiger. Um, yeah, I'll tell you that'll never happen because I don't go get my own mail. I send my child to go get the mail. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> <laughs> you know, cause she's you know she's faster. So G's gonna take one for the there. Team. We go, Darrell in the house. What's up? Hey, Darrell. Hey, Darrell. Good to see you, buddy. Move my mic closer to me. 
What's going on, Dad? Hey, Joe. I, know. I realize I realize that most people don't even notice that there's a mic in front of me because I wear a black T-shirt. But like here, you yeah, can, it's you tough can, to see into it. Yeah. It's you to see like the, the Rubber Junkies logo disappears, <laughs> mm-hmm. and then it reappears. <laughs> you can't see I mean, the mic. Kind of it's fun. very nice. It's a very nice <laughs> microphone, but you know, mm-hmm. I've changed my lighting. Am I, is it too dark? Do I need more light? Is no, it, you're it good. Is? is it good? I don't think dark in the background a little bit. Yeah, well, I wanted to be we a little dark in the background. We can't see the specific bottles, per se. Uh, Which yeah. might be a good thing. No, no. Yeah, you probably is the specific bottle. Here, I'll turn the clapper on and we'll get some more light. There's oh. a little more light. <laughs> <laughs> don't can't see specifically. That's a joke. It's not on a clapper, but that was pretty <laughs> funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> Clap on. Ronnie Ferguson's here. What's up, Ronnie? Good to see you. Just picked up a Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof rye store pick there. Oh, there you go. Good stuff. Yes, 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 yes. Nice. yes. So probably my, my not origi- 130 proof or so. Yeah, my original thought tonight was I was still in gin. I was like, maybe I'll just do an all Jack Daniels night. I'll just drink my Jack Daniels stuff. And then I was like, oh, what the man. hell am I thinking? Most of everything I own Jack Daniels is like super <laughs> high proof. <Yeah. laughs> I'll, be, I'll be destroyed in the first hour. So I abandoned that idea almost as quickly as I came up with it. So. You could drink a 10 or a 12 and be okay. I could drink a 10 or a 12. Uh Bringing out the old number seven. Got it. Yeah, I could drink old number seven, which I do. <laughs> I always have some old number seven just to humble myself occasionally. Uh, really maybe the bonded. I do have the bonded. Yeah, and the triple mash and all that. Stuff. I don't want to drink. Mm-hmm. You guys aren't talking. Yeah, about that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, hmm. All I right. Both my barrel proof right. Well, one <laughs> one thirty one, and the other one's like one thirty four. So. Yeah, there you go. Do you Real, have a special birthday drinking? pour ready for you, Teach? That was birthday a pour? Full of water. Uh, I'm drinking the 1910 right now, and, and then Blake made me pour a little bit of the Disco 3, which I'm not upset about at all because this is freaking fantastic. <laughs> these are, Actually, these these are both really good pours. Now, they're very different from each other. The, the original 1910 is literally like toasted marshmallow. Oh, like it's campfire. Mm-hmm. It's so good. It is. And then, of course, the Disco 3 is like a completely different beast. So, so much yeah. fruit. It's my sugar. last backup. Down. Your last? Oh, he's got one. Wow. <laughs> what is it? Oh, oh. yeah. 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 It's, 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 like, it's the I crown that everybody's been chuffed guys. over the last yeah. few minutes. Yeah. Let's try that one more time, Darrell, so everybody gets a good look at it. Yep. Waterloo. There oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. This thing's pretty crazy like everybody thinks crowns, like yeah but like that thing is that's nuts i actually pulled um because i was going to compare them but i have a a dusty one like zoom in a, look at a look at a neck tag like how yeah, i'll bring it in. <laughs> but, oh yeah okay five i've had one of those waterloo as well like the old yeah. stuff from like the 70s and 60s 50s it was all waterloo before yeah yeah down. But um, the XR was like super age stuff versus their regular ten year. Yeah, because um, those were the uh, you know the last barrels they managed to salvage out of the distillery after the fire. So yeah, yeah. they like, vanilla bombs for thanks, me. Thanks, Tom. That's what I'm going for. Yep. Go go for the holy. Go, go back to my darkness. <laughs> mm. Yeah, those uh. Yeah. Those Waterloo's are just special, special bottles. I've had a yeah. couple of them and just, oh, man. Oh. The prices are crazy, though, now for it. Yeah, now oh on secondary, God. they're going for like seven, eight, nine hundred <laughs> more. Really? Like, yeah. What's crazy? Yeah, yeah they're, pro- I think, nine fifty. Yeah, I was going to say, on the, the latest one. auction I saw, they were up around a thousand bucks. So. Jeez. Two years ago, I think it was, I walked into a local store. And I put this on Facebook probably when it happened. Um, but they had a XR Red like sitting with because it comes with a big box on top that you can open at and it comes in like a little thing. Yeah, yeah. In, right. So sitting without the top box. And I just for shits and gigas, I thought it was gonna be like crazy price. I'm like, how much is that? It had like a little um price tag when you have the little gun and you're like freaking stamping them, you know what I mean? When yeah, you oh, wow. the that, yeah, that's how my consumptive up. spirit was that I found my fan tail. It had like an actual price ticker sticker yeah. on it. <laughs> it had that, it was $138.99. And I was like, wait, done. Is that the price? 
Do you, got, do <laughs> like, you have more than one? Yet, I was like, yeah. I'll buy it. And this is when they were probably around seven hundred. Yeah, mm-hmm. one hundred and thirty-eight bucks. I'm like, what the heck? That was the one I just finished uh, this past year with Jeff when we celebrated our first our first year. Yeah. Um, I had like we did world whiskey, like we had different titles for each of us to sound like a pour, and I did that. Yeah. As, uh, the pour. Damn, dude. It's fun. It's fun pour. That is That's crown I stagged was a blackberry. So, so good. Ooh. So hard to find. The last crown you had was blackberry crown. Oh god, yeah. I haven't had that one. How was how was it? Uh it's good in lemonade. <laughs> there you go. How much cough syrup did you have beforehand? Yeah. Good in lemonade. All right, yeah, last crown I grabbed was one of these. Yeah, well, those yep. hand selected barrels are great. Mm, yeah. Good night, Mark. Yeah. Good night, Mark. Those those are the best yeah, crowns they make right now. The current um, ones, yeah. 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 And and none of it, found it at that proof, man. That's so good. Yeah, and yeah, we can't get those in Canada anymore. They don't sell them here. No, they, you know they send them over here. Yeah, they do. Especially <laughs> Texas. <laughs> Texas is like Crown's number one market, <laughs> it, literally. And I didn't believe it until like Matt Zittrick showed me one time. He took a picture, and the whole wall in the liquor store was Crown Royal, and I'm like. Yeah. What the hell? Dude? It was all crown pee. They but need <laughs> summer, but <laughs> yeah, no, they summer they do. They drink a lot of crown. They they drink a lot of crown in Florida too. It's, a, it's crazy. I a big I, crown I would is. imagine, but just wow! Holy which crap! One's the, is that the uh, which one's that? the high angel share? That's like a three. Oh, that's the higher proof one. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, nice. So I just got that nice. one. You just I heard got that, that one was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. not too long ago. Oh, oh, this past week. week. Hey, everybody, he's cracking that open right now. Looks like mm-hmm. a $60, 375 isn't it? Yep. yep. Yeah, there. About, about, yeah, that. Right about, that. about that. Hey, there's Jeff right now. What's up, Jeff? What's hey, up, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. Welcome it, to Crown Royal, I think. It yeah. is pre birthday by a couple days, two days. Oh, and Enrique's here. What's up, Enrique? Good to see you. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Cheers to you. Hey, uh, Enrique, how much longer until uh, until you're a daddy? How much longer you got, buddy? When's Maria due? I just need to know. I know it's soon. Yeah. He wants on his birthday. No, he's, I just buddy. he's expecting. I don't even know that. Yeah, Enrique's <laughs> wife is expect is expecting, but they came to the meetup anyway, which was cool. Yeah, I, I just found out today one of my best friends from school is expecting another kid. And I'm like, yes, keep paying my Canada pension. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, why were you excited about it? Now I remember. Now I exactly know why you're excited about it. Yes. Pay, pay my pension. Thank you very much. Those people paying in. That helps. <laughs> J-Max, what's sticky burn in there? Last call. Oh, it is nice. the last call. Yeah. It nice. was short when I started. It's very short. Now. It really is. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Get down there. Like Vienna sausage. I gotta hold it up <laughs> so it doesn't like blow in my nose when I. Get well, there. that and the beard. You gotta watch out not to go ablaze. <laughs> yeah, and the beard is the beard is pretty far from my mouth. Actually. Oh, okay. The mustache is getting. I have to trim that. I I can't have it on my lips. It's just too much. <laughs> yeah, same here. Uh-huh. Yeah, you gotta you listen, gentlemen. Gentlemen, you're, you're is that the right, right word? Like, close to the lip. It is. <laughs> you're, looking, you're looking, you're looking fresh, Cheech. You're looking Thanks, fresh. buddy. I, I just did it fresh today. Here. Oh, the lip. there you go. Oh, look at there. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, there is a little bit of lip there. Yeah, look at that tan already. I've already got my tan started for the year. If I, I, could, class, I'm like, had my wife, if I, I would be dye mine. He said I wouldn't look afternoon. right. <laughs> I don't burn, so that, I, I do have that going for me. There you go. I go out in the sun for an hour, and I'm, I'm going to start tanning up, so it's not too bad. Not too oh. bad. I just can't leave the beach once I get there. <laughs> yeah, I love the beach, too. I'm going to the beach on Thursday. Yeah, buddy. Go. I go to the beach once every two or three years. Oh, I, I went twice last week. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the beach is a lot you closer. East to Coast Keech or Gulf Side, Cheech? I'm on the East Coast. I'm uh, near St. Augustine. 
I oh, like my yeah, property it's taxes it's where they there. are. It is lovely. Don't tell me. Yeah. Trying to keep it a secret. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> trying to keep it a secret. I, I go to the beach, but it's Lake Michigan. It's not the ocean. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to keep it a secret <laughs> by having close, a meetup actually. here every year. You know. Yeah. There's two or three times a year you can put your toes in that jug. Uh, that was honest. I have a. Boar. I mean, I'll go up to Marquette and go on Lake Superior, and it's really cool. Oh, it's a boar's uh, boar's hair uh, beard beard brush. Yeah. Boar's hair beard brush. That's a lot to say, and it does yeah. work great. I have, I have a comb and great. a brush, both. There you yes. go. You should try using it every once in a while, buddy. It's a little. Ah. <laughs> it's a little mess. I need to trim. Oh, wow. I do need to trim. I need to trim. Uh, you know, I I got a well quaffed beard. I, I like to. <laughs> Six <laughs> AM was a long time ago. Listen, there's no rules. There's no rules. You guys can have an unkept beard if you want one. Just not, not my style. Yeah. Oh, like Andrew, it's nice to see you, Andrew. Here. Good to see you, buddy. Early birthday. It is. It is. How are how are things in? Like, are you frozen still? He's probably still frozen. He's in Alaska. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, He's probably yeah. still frozen. That'd be my guess. Yeah, I mean. Well, all year round. <laughs> I, I would imagine he would be because last week the temperature got up to like 72 Fahrenheit it here. Did. Yeah. And then it dipped down to like 25 Fahrenheit the next day and then back up to like 60 Fahrenheit and then back down again to like 20. And yep. it's just like, what the hell is well, that's going the same on? stuff we've had here. Oh, yeah, last man. week we had 70 and 30 for highs. <laughs> yeah, we we were we were at ninety one on Friday of last week. Uh, we're currently mm -hmm. at forty seven. We'll be at thirty nine tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. We're starting to get snow, snow on Sunday here, and then it's supposed to be fifty and raining Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, yeah we had we I had expect snow you to have that today. kind of wet weather though. <laughs> not I'm not even going to take the snowblower out if it's going to rain the next two days. But. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We had snow here yesterday and today, and then um, overnight it's supposed to warm up to like five Celsius, and then go back down to minus two by tomorrow afternoon. Like, what yeah. the hell kind of weather is this? Like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's crazy. Tom is never far from beach because he lives on an island. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> nice. Which island? He's uh, Key Largo. <laughs> Key Largo. Key Largo. Yeah. So you you know Florida, Florida? Guys are getting to the freeze this time. Yeah, Florida, Florida, Florida. Okay. Okay. I heard of it. I wasn't That's exactly the first key. Is That's all the way far from Jersey way to be No, the first key is Key Biscayne. Uh, I believe that's right. Maybe Key Largo. You might be right. Anyway, Tom will correct us here. Would you Would you say there, uh, Jason? So you know, Florida guys still get into the threes this time of year. Us, you know, South Florida guys, we we don't hit that anymore. No, no, no. I get up here. Up here, we get cold. We had we had some twenties this year, which is pretty. But that cool. means Ooh. the bugs die Ooh. a little bit. Nah, never. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, not our bugs. Our bugs. That means the lizards die. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the iguanas fall out of the tree. <laughs> they're, they're, not out of tree. Yeah. they're not dead. They're just resting. They're, yes. Once they warm up, they come back to life. That's yeah. They just need a, need a little, they're just sleeping warm. Little just bit. barely yeah. getting to the melty time. There you go. <laughs> oh, just nice. Barely. It just freezes overnight. It melts during the day and then it refreezes at night up there. Be my guess. Yeah. I gotta, I got a bold teach. Cheers, all you guys. All right, Ed. Have a good night, buddy. Have a good night, buddy. It's been warm enough. My oh, fucking grass is like six inches tall. I you better go mow that I'm shit. Fucking not happy about it. I have not had to mow yet this year, thankfully. <clears throat> I had neighbors out last weekend. No. I did not. <laughs> oh, I push yeah. it off as hey, the county oh, says it, I don't have to mow it till it hits twelve inches, so I'm waiting. <laughs> Oh, uh, you want it to be nice and green. You don't. You don't want to get it. Right yeah. Away. Oh, it's yeah. fucking green. <laughs> it's green. It's tall, and he doesn't want to mow it. That's uh, oh wait, that's in my closet. Shut up, dude. Hiyo. Hiyo. Yeah, no freezes for Fats Wave this year. Not. Not ever. Not ever. Mm. You start getting and freezes in the keys, clever. then something's wrong. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Know, it could happen. Oddly enough, there's plenty of snow down there, though. Where he's at? 
<laughs> Sorry, Darrell. I it's forgot. There's, kind of snow, there's innocent people on screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, Darrell. He's back to talking about beachcombers after hurricanes. Yeah, beachcombers after hurricanes. Exactly. Yeah. We're looking for shells. Tropic thunder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah this, the bloom. This, this winter here has been the warmest in like 90 plus years. Wow. Well, yeah, we've had one week. week two week winters in a row that we've had in 20 years here yeah so yeah. except for that one week here when it was like the winter apocalypse descended and it was like minus 40 and then you know it was just like okay well i mean it's bound to happen so let me get the real winter equipment out and, you know, just there you go trudge on with life did you say winter apocalypse well, that's uh, what they were framing it as. Oh, I thought that was Justin Trudeau's drag name. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's, that's that's Justin Trudeau's drag name is Senora Federista. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been a weird winter because I've seen my lawn all of January, February, and March now. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. like. In Wisconsin, I'm like that never happens. Yeah. I see mine at all twelve months of the year. Wow. Hey now, where that means you got to mow it all those twelve months. Oh no, no, I don't. <laughs> I think it's that Bermuda grass. It stays about half an inch tall. I don't. I don't, I don't have Bermuda grass. I have St. Augustine grass. <laughs> I will for you, yes, specifically. <laughs> That's what we do here. That is what we do. Here. It gets mowed every Monday, like clockwork. Oh, you don't pay for it? You're out. Or you do pay for it. Yeah, of course I pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> He's either got to pay or a robot. It's, what, it's what a funny. silly question. What a silly question. Of course you got to pay for it. There's a robot that mows now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. A Roomba for like, your card. Like a Roomba. Mm -hmm. yep. It goes like 12.5% incline. It's not yep. bad. Yep. Wow. Very that good. lasts about five feet here in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably true. Probably true. John Cloud's here. What's up, John? Good to see you. Cheers, John. Cheers, John. Cheers, John. Good to see you, buddy. All right, guys. I'm going to jump off. Uh, I've got to do a couple of things and then get ready for work. Uh, tomorrow, All right, Donald. So. Thanks for jumping on, buddy. Take care, right. Donald. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know over on Discord uh, when we'll do the Scotchy Scotch Scotch. Scotch. All right. Perfect. Cool. All soon. Right, thanks, guys. Very soon, because I'm itching to open that PACO. <laughs> I, I'm itching to see you drink it, because I'm like, I'm saving some, and I'm like... I want to kill that bottle already and order another All right, one. So that'll be great. So you'll kill your bottle while I open my bottle. That'll be perfect. It'll be yeah. Like, uh, it'll be yin and yang is what that'll yeah, be. Pretty much. All right, yeah. Donald. Have a good night, buddy. All right. Take care, guys. See you. See you, bud. Cheers. Cheers. Yoda out. <laughs> yeah, so I finished off that 1910 that I was drinking, which, gosh, I, I honestly, the, the original 1910 is so freaking good. Now I just picked up the Disco 3, which is quite a jump. <laughs> the original one is from how many years ago? 2019, I believe. <clears throat> I've never There's probably played. had one of those then. Um, it's, got, it's got the it's got the this weird label on it. It's like yeah. the label's almost the same, but it's got that like rubber stamped old fun whiskey. Oh yeah. The blue. The new one doesn't have that blue on there. It's, it's yeah. a different font. It doesn't look like it's been rubber stamped. Uh, okay, I think okay. I have a new 1920 I can show you. I don't have a new 1910. Let me take a look. I got one of each. Give me a second. Uh, let's see. I got a new 1910. Oh, it's not. Oh, yeah. It doesn't even have the ink. No. Like, yeah, there's know. no ink at all. No, there's no stamp. Nothing. Oh, okay. Here we go. Yeah, I've never had the other one then. I yeah. Only have that. Well, yeah, it's just like the regular newer. Brand. I mean, I've had a new 1910, but I, I drank the whole thing. It was good. Ah. There we go. Oh, Zach's got it side by side. You, sh you should oh, have a channel or something, buddy. Okay, John Paul, now. <laughs> <laughs> and and the taste difference John is, Cloud. it's a big taste difference? Uh, They're oh, different. Yeah. They're definitely yeah. different. Yeah. Um, John Cloud, I would go for that every day. So, Darrell, when, when the 1910 came out, the original batch, this one, mm -hmm. um, the way it was described is they, they, the secondary barrel that they put in it was so charred that it would, barely, it would barely hold whiskey. Like they had to like figure out how to turn the barrel so it didn't all leak out because they charred the barrel so much that it had uh, it had leakage issues. So a lot of the original stuff, 
just was in like supercharged barrel. They don't do it quite that way anymore. That's my understanding. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. Don't Damn. they call that alligator char? It's past that. It's past really? that. It's yeah. I think they called it cadaver charge or chart or something. <laughs> it was really charged. <laughs> We got the 1910 extra old, which is yeah. the comparison oh, yeah. for the three. I have not opened that one yet. That's the whole comparison for a video. So there you see. go. We should do that. Should do that. <laughs> yeah, when I get time. When you get time. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, I like Between the 1910 a lot better than the 1920. Um, ah. It's moody for me. If I'm in the mood yeah. for the 1920, I really like the 1920. Mm-hmm. 1920 is just sharp uh, for me. For whatever 115 reason, proof is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that proof is just sharp. Sharp. yeah I, i'll drink some of that in a second we'll, we'll talk about your sharpness yeah, no, i, I want to see what tom harper says you guys think the 1910 is better than wood for double oak i think i prefer the different the wood for double oak for its price range yeah uh, yes mm. so 10's around it's 60, close enough woodford is 50 ish they're There's not terribly different, different price wise yeah but they oh, are very not. different as far as flavor profile yeah. goes. Correct. Oh, yeah. I think with the yeah. Woodford Double Oak, I'm more happy with a store pick. I think that, yeah, I like yes. the picks on those. Yes. I like the picks on those a lot. I've had his pick mm. once that, well, I guess it was back in 2020 or 2021, that was straight up like a s'more. Like you got the graham mm. cracker, the chocolate, and the marshmallow mm. all, all together. So I'm happy Peerless Double Oak's coming out a lot more for the uh, proof point for that, too. I got some of those, too. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah, it's it's <laughs> All right, so uh, I'll, I'll do I'll do that. Um, should I drink the 1920 or should I drink the Peerless Double Oak? Peerless. Mm-hmm. I'll let you guys. I got a little bit of Peerless Double Oak somewhere. Yeah, I have that pick that's uh that was accidentally left in the barrel for 16 months. Ooh, you know, nice. Woodford uh, Double Oak disappears faster around me than night. Yeah, this one is almost as dark as the uh, <laughs> as the 13th Colony. Yeah, yeah. it is dark. Since, since Jean Claude mentioned, it, I'm going to this time. There you go. <laughs> She's getting down there, though. Unfortunately. Oh yeah, I, I almost cracked up in a new bottle of that tonight. Well, John Claude said he found a handle for twenty three dollars in Indiana. I'm like, damn it. Oh, that's stellar. I think that's what I paid for mine. That's stellar. Damn. That's something I can get regularly around me, which is beneficial, but. I, when we were in Kentucky uh, la- last year, me and Darrell and my wife and hello again, whiskey mm-hmm. friends and a bunch of our friends, uh, I made sure I came home with like five of those JW bottled and bonds. Mm-hmm. I'm already down oh, to two. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I gave one, I gave one away, but I drank I drank two other. <laughs> so. The brown or the Dan? Uh, the the Dan. No, no, the, the brand. The JTS brand. Okay. JTS brand. JTS brand. Yeah, I can get, I, yeah, I can get the JW Dan for like fifteen for a seven fifty. Oh yeah. Listen, I like the J. I like I like the Dan, but when I drink it compared to the JTS Brown, I like the yeah. JTS Brown a lot. I was just lucky a buddy brought yeah, that back. Yeah. Well, did you find brown. your he double O? The, the Brown. It's no, all, it's give me a second. Right. It's it's oh, somewhere. I have a little bit. That's how it works. It's always somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> if you have it, it's somewhere. Yeah, yeah. John Claude, I got, I can get the JTS Brown eighty proof here locally. Uh, Jason, I've never, I've never seen that young of a light whiskey from Obtanium. That must be something. Yeah, because the light whiskeys oh. from Obtanium were like fifteen years and sixteen and fourteen. Okay. I've got some younger stuff. I don't too. have any that are under twelve. I don't think. This is a ten. I'd have yeah. to. I just, I'd have to get a ladder because they're on the very top shelf. Yeah, I just got one. I think it's a fourteen. Yeah, fourteen's pretty typical for those. But it's you know it's. Yeah. It's Canadian light whiskey. I was gonna say it depends yeah. on where it's from. Yeah. Some of the stateside stuff's a little younger. Oh yeah, I would say the probably the light whiskey from MGP is probably younger. I don't know if I have <laughs> yeah. one. Oh my god! I, was, I, was I don't think I've seen much that's more than thirteen or fourteen years old from MGP. Yeah, that would be a very old MGP. Yeah. Woo, man. Although fearless uh, double oak smells fantastic. Yeah. Change your mind. Okay, that is an MGP. All right, that that explains it. Okay. I like uh, Boone That's County good. is actually going to release their 15 years that they still have left here in the coming oh, months. Goodness. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, I had a me. event with their oh, owner this past you, week. Buddy. Good so you. It was good stuff. Hey, you remember that list you sent me about a month ago? 
Yeah. <laughs> I'll get around to answering that. Just put that on the list too. <laughs> hey, 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 I get it. <laughs> I figure there's a couple. I've gotten, since we've gone on, I've gotten a couple of uh, interesting bottles here. Oh, you <laughs> sure have. You sure have. Goodness. Yeah. That's it. That looks A couple delicious. of presents, choices. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. What? All that's right. a. That's a fine pour right there. That is a fine pour. Uh, yeah, right, my wife is waiting, waiting for the next child to be born. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sean, yeah those, Sean, those old Forester Hunter proofers are no joke. Those are bad. Ooh, they're good. Yeah. so good. E- even the regular one. I mean, if you get the picks, they're great, but the just the regular one. But the bang for buck whiskey, that's one of the best. Mm-hmm. All right. Penelope American Light is a 15-year MGP for $120. It's phenomenal. I have not had a Penelope I've liked. Uh, I probably None? Should say that. Whoa. I probably shouldn't Whoa. say that out loud. But that's a hot take. take. <laughs> right. I, now, I've only had like six different ones. Now, I get it. They source and there's a lot of different whiskeys out there. But the ones I, I've I'll had. I'll save you on that, Jake. I haven't had a Willet I like, even Purple Duck. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah but Willet and, is and I believe I Willet's offended. polarizing. The last time yes, I, I was at Jack Rose and Bill Thomas, I offended him, I believe, when I told him I didn't like Willet. <laughs> oh, ouch. No. Uh, no, I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to give it a yeah. try. Yeah, right. Here. Yeah, that's fair. I, I'm willing to try it. It's just the ones I've had. So uh, the Penelope, the architects are the ones that I've tried. I've tried a, the, the French oaks hard to get beyond. Yeah, and I tried yeah. a. It maybe it is the French oak because there's a very prevailing note in those things <clears> that are a turnoff for me, and I'm not a generally a huge French oak guy. Yeah, uh, but there's also a weird graininess on those things that drive me nuts. Like it's like mm. just I like, like on the very back end, the grain just sneaks up for me, and it just otherwise like it's experience. I like the four grain barrel strength. Have you had that one? Yeah, yeah, I had four a grain barrel that. strength toasted. Yeah, I've tried that, and wow. I tried the toasted, uh, the pick. Um, it was a Wisconsin pick that uh, Deathless Dogs Jen actually won a sample, <laughs> and uh, I tried Jen's sample of it, and that was the best. That was the best Penelope I've ever had. So, so maybe I just haven't had the right ones. It's possible. The Valencia is <laughs> good. That's like the orange. That's orange curacao or something. Yeah. Yeah. That one's good. That the Kai is really good. That's the last one I got. That the Kai is really, really excellent. Mm. Um, and and the light whiskey that was yeah. mentioned earlier. I'm going to be honest good. with you. At this point, I've had enough of them that I didn't like. That I'm spending my money yeah. elsewhere. That's but fair. There's plenty of yeah, that's fair. there's plenty of other people that can buy that stuff and enjoy it. But you know, now that they've been, now that they can get their hands on better sourced whiskey, maybe maybe things change. That's all I'll say. Yeah, that four grain barrel strength, they had a 114 proof there for a while that was competing for me for that peerless double oak. Okay. So, I yeah, mean, the, like the I said, I'm willing to try. Good, I'm willing to try. Uh, Ronnie, I've never had the Rio. I know the, the new batch is out. Maybe I'll run across it, one. For me, I'd love to have one much. of those. The Amberana on that is just overpowered. Too much. It overpowers. Yeah, I'll take the barrel Amberana any day of the week over the Penelope. I like the uh, RD1. Umbrella. That's the, mm. that's, the that's really one. good. That's the one mm. I really good. I had one, one break in the meal today. Yeah. yeah, first time after getting the junkies already one pick from Urban Outfitters. I had oh. a bottle break. Oh shit! So, Sorry yeah. to hear that, buddy. Yeah, it'll be all right. I, you, I'll, they'll fix it. Did you have? It the literally insurance? happened. Did you have the insurance? I did. Okay. I You're believe good. I did. Put it that way. But after buying a hundred bottles, you know, I didn't I? I think oh yeah, I was gonna say from figure it out. They'll they'll help you out. They'll, help you. Yeah. they'll figure it out for sure. Exactly. That's why they hold some back. And if not, party source isn't that far away. <laughs> Here you go. Tony Bagadino says he's joining me in the Peerless Double Oak. Darrell, did you find yours? So I did not. That's all right. I, oh. I, I quit looking and I grabbed a <laughs> uh, what is it? Nice. The high rye. The high rye. High rye. Okay. That's a good yeah. one. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty good. That's really around good. me frequent too. Let me tell you, when we were in Kentucky last October, when we went to Peerless, I was like, yeah, this place is <laughs> dirty. This place is just yeah. like, like in the wide open. I have a video from the from one of the mash tanks that we were there, and there's mm-hmm. a spider walking across the bubbles. I'm like, oh, that, dude. The, that's the whiskey apple. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the spider in it. That's the that extra proof from the protein. It's great. <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> Listen, so, it's it's it, open fermentation. Shit's gonna fall mm-hmm. there, and that building is old AF. So, yeah, I'm okay with it. Spot. Listen, the alcohol kills anything that's bad for you. So, 
Hmm. Any of you guys score a uh, 15th anniversary 13th colony? I uh, no. I can get one still. I was on my way to pick it up on Friday when I watched Cam, Drums and Brams video. I started watching that on my way there, which I should not have done. And Cam talked me out of buying it. That's what happened. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't think he meant to, but that's exactly what happened. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can go get it yeah. tomorrow, but I'm not sure I want to spend the money now. Because that's the question on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now I did get the double oak, the 13th oh. double oak, and that's oh. phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Yes. So, so how many left nuts would you trade for it? Like, <laughs> I only had the one. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could tuck them both into that side if I had to. <laughs> I tap out at two. That's where I'm at. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably pretty uncomfortable. At that point, <laughs> great. Now you can taste the spider. Listen, that's the best. <laughs> the best part of it. Notes of Daddy Long Legs. Eating the spiders like eating the worm. Not at all, because I've done that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the worm isn't that bad. Scorpion isn't that bad either when it comes to the ones that have those. What about the For snake people? wine? Have you had the snake wine? <laughs> snake wine's not bad, or the uh, buffalo urine vodka. That's a no. Mm. A hard no. What? It's very mm. questionable, but it's vodka, so it's like, yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a uh, farm in Milwaukee that oh, gives shots on. that count uh, pickled scorpions. Wasn't it nice of yeah, Zach to you. come back? <laughs> Zach has to be dumped in a while. Nice. I had to do it. That is true. <laughs> you never, you <laughs> never, been down the, the, never been down the Yellow River, Cheech? <laughs> I'm just, uh, uh, I'm getting much kinder in my old age. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> I had a German yeah, friend that much. thought that was the best vodka ever. So, well, you know, <laughs> they're German. Yeah. 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 I've been on I have, I have nothing against weeks. German people. I'm a huge fan of schnitzels. I love them. Yeah. They're great. Crowd. On a regular basis. <laughs> they make a few good beers, too. They kind of do. True. They make my favorite beer. So, yeah, I uh, agree on that one. Especially around. Uh, October, September, September and October. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Spot in Oktoberfest, pretty damn good. Yeah. Oh, you spot do a beer, in Oktoberfest is the best. Spot in Oktoberfest is fantastic, without a doubt. All right, Shelby likes his 15th anniversary, and I'm mm. torn. I'm torn because I can go get it. That's it. I can just go <sighs> get it. I've yeah. never taken anything Cam's ever said to heart. Um, in general, <laughs> in general, I would say I don't either. But for some reason, what he was saying, maybe it's just timing. Maybe it's because I I was a dumbass and I was watching it on the way to the store. <laughs> and I generally don't watch any reviews of something I'm on my way to go pick up. But Cam's yeah. just dropped and it, and it like came up as my suggestion, and I was like, oh, let me watch a little of this. And Cam was not happy with it. I've but, heard it was pretty good from almost everybody that's had it. Except for Cam, right? <laughs> yeah. I also thought it was a, a little bit more just, I guess, balanced to an extent versus yeah. the, the double oak that kind of like just smacks you in the face with flavor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That double oak's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it is so good. Yeah, everybody I know that has All right. Well, maybe, maybe I'll go get it tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> if it's retail, you know what I mean? Like, I don't I tried I don't to know. get one. That's fair. Time. Um, I could. I'll probably have to pay like thirty bucks over retail, but oh, I think that's, yeah, that's, that's right. fair. Yeah, no, that's yeah, okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah, that's that's nothing. <clears throat> I'm not. Com- I'm not complaining. I did well the last couple of weeks. I scored a couple of tater bottles. So. Oh, what'd you get? Let's yeah. do it. Show and tell. What'd you get? So I got a WLW for 120. Ooh, 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 okay. Uh huh. Uh-huh. You like wow. to double your money. <laughs> so Cheech, you, you'll understand abc vault oh yeah I, i'm not part oh. of the program i refuse okay. i don't do corporate stores at all yep. so. and then i got a uh orvw 10 for uh 100 bucks yeah that's solid there you go that okay. good for you man nice yeah good score in that wlw oh yeah man. Yes, sir. Sir. That's one of the best pours I've ever had. Oh, yeah. And everybody's yeah, like, what are you going to do with it? I'm like, it's going to look at, stand on my shelf. It's going to look pretty for a little while. And, and then on a special occasion, I'm going to crack year. it. He's going to bring it to my new Yeah, that's one of the few. That's 
one B tech I haven't had that I want to try at some point. Yeah, Listen, I, uh, last year at my meetup, uh, we cracked open an Eagle Air 17 and drank that. So mm-hmm. nice, and it was nice. nice. It was nice. Uh, and then I brought the rest of it to uh, Michigan with me. Yeah. with a few other people. Yeah, hey, whiskey, whiskey is for sharing. So it, you know. listen, correct. Every bottle here is either open or is going to be open, but most of them at this point are open. I can say yeah. Eagle Rare at Cast Strength is a very good pour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I wish we they not- still did it at 101, which they used to do. I really do wish they would do like at least like a special edition every year that was a 101. Yeah, yeah that would be yeah. nice. Yeah, like I have yeah. three to five ounces of that 1982 Eagle Rare 101. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. yes, sir, and yes, sir, again. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. It didn't suck, that's for sure. It does not suck. <laughs> <laughs> the first sample of the Eagle Rare 17 I had was from a friend of mine, dude. This thing was this um bottled in 2002. Oh, God. So it was, yeah, it was an 85, 85 wow. distilled. That was the first one I had. And back then, it was only 90 proof um, yeah. before they switched. Yeah. But it was really good. I did compare it to like a standard um, Eagle Rare 10 at the time, or it might have been a store pick. Good. Could it was be a insane. good, it was a pretty decent difference, but not like super, super crazy that you would oh. think, right? Off of something that old. <laughs> Um, mm-hmm. and like the price that it demands, but it was very good. It was very, very good. Then I've only had one other one, I think it was a 2017. After that, that was pretty so good. There's a local bar here that I'm in a bourbon club, and they've got a Igor 17, I think it was from the 90s, but they wanted like 150 bucks for a one ounce pour. And I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, no, <laughs> you guys can say no to that. I'd probably say yes to it. <laughs> really? Oh, maybe. If somebody wants to give me like for a birthday present, I'm gonna take it. But yeah, I don't know, Darrell. When we were drinking that uh that wild turkey donut, did, did we just oh, say yes? We just said yes. It was what fifty? I don't know. No, I don't even think it was that much. Whatever it was, we should have finished that fucking bottle. <laughs> I think it was like. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Remember. I think it was an ounce pour. I think I paid like thirty bucks. It wasn't. It was, definitely wasn't fifty. Damn. Like it was relatively cheap because I was yeah. like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I gave eighty for an ounce and a half of WLW about a year and a half ago, and I yeah. I don't I don't regret it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. Totally I fair on that one. Hold on, Ronnie said uh, hey, a bar in his town had a George right. stack. Some guy bought every oh, pour at the bar back. for fifteen hundred dollars, then only tipped twenty because he was. They were pissed because he was broke. He tapped out. Yeah. That's what yeah. Yeah. Go down two <laughs> comments to fat that. ways. Ugh. Cheers to that. Yeah. Oh, there you go, Tom. There you go. Nice. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and end Ooh. this stream. I'm on my way to... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> way to the yeah. You'll it's be like, there by tomorrow. There you go. I'll make you some... Here I am waiting on an inheritance bottle for me. But There was a local <laughs> store here a couple of years ago that did their lottery drawing. And the guy won the years tail at barrel proof. And he's like, here's a bunch of sample bottles. And he just sampled everything out. Yeah. Oh, that's and awesome. Everybody there you go. Yeah. My uh, mother-in-law and father-in-law have a bottle of Old Forster Select from like 1969 signed by Alonzo Ferrari. Because oh, he worked geez. for Michelin. Oh. Yeah. And it's that's still awesome. unopened. And I'm like. You know that's coming to a channel at some point, right? They're like, yeah, <laughs> okay, cool. We have an understanding. I'm with. I'm with your daughter. This is all we got to go with here. <laughs> you, you paid your price. Yeah, it's yeah. All right. yeah. Uh, <laughs> they understand. So when I st- so you guys, I mentioned earlier, me and Jen are coming up on our 20th wedding anniversary. 23 years together, we got married on our three year dating anniversary. Right when we started dating, so 23 years ago. Uh, my roommate had a friend who came over. He's like, Hey, I know you like whiskey. So this is going back 23 years. I was liking whiskey even back then. Uh, he's like, I just got this bottle from my grandparents that they got as their, um, their, it was a wedding bottle. Somebody gave them. And it was like a 1960 something crown Royal. He's like, Mm -hmm. he's like, he's like, I want to give it to you, but he's like, I don't want you to just take it. I want to open it and drink it. And we did. We drank that entire bottle over the course of a few hours <laughs> with a couple of our friends. But it was so cool. It had that old tax stamp on it and everything. Mm-hmm. I want to say it was a 66. It might have been a 66. 
but damn, it's very, very good whiskey. Nice. What I wouldn't do to have that bottle now. So that was 23 well, years. Yeah. It was not a good deal to have that bottle 23 years ago. Nobody, there was no secondary market that I know of 23 years ago. And if there was, it wasn't like somebody was going to pay a thousand dollars or hundreds of dollars for it. People were like, oh, I'll give you 10 bucks more than it cost when it came out. What's yeah. crazy, Go pretty, back and have that bottle again would be pretty damn awesome. Relatively That's speaking, huge. for secondary, they're like, just say that's six, a 66. Yeah. Maybe two hundred bucks. Yeah, I was gonna say they're a couple hundred bucks now. Yeah, you know what I mean, which isn't crazy, you know, because yeah. it's like Crown. People aren't like, oh my god. Well, they also yeah. Crown, also Crown was known to churn out a ton of product. You know, they mm. always did. They 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 still do, but they always have. Yeah. So just Hold a quick on. shout out on the anniversary, Cheech. That's awesome. I'm not yeah. far behind you. So I've been with my wife twenty four years. We'll have. 19 years this year, Mary. There you go. There you go. Nice. Well, there's a few of you here have met my wife, so you know why I'm with her. <laughs> just the cookies. <laughs> the cookies. I mean, I'm, yeah, that's not what I'm going to go for. Obviously. Obviously. Yeah. I mean, about the cookie. Listen, I am, I know yeah, I'm, there you go. I'm one of the most fortunate dudes in the whiskey community because my wife also likes whiskey. Mm -hmm. And that, that just makes everything oh. that makes all of this okay. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's well, a big, it's a big well, plus. Well, My wife's big on the Irish, on. but still, it's hold a plus. On. I just said whiskey. It just it makes whiskey. it more expensive. Um, <laughs> no, it, it's, it's just as expensive as it's always been. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is that she ha she has no problem coming in and says, "Pour me some of that." I can tell you this: she never pours low. It's never down here. She only points up there when she wants something to drink. So I'll do you one better. My wife can't stand bourbon, but will oh. barrel hunt for me when she's on every business trip. Well, that helps. Yeah, that's nice. that's nice. That is nice. nice. My wife does not do any whiskey hunting at all just because she does not have the time. But when I find something, she says yes, which is nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, E.H. Taylor nice. Barrel Proof today in one of the stores for 600 bucks. Eight for a stag and a staggy junior. For, yeah, I would. You bought all. Oh, no, that's a lie. The, no, the, the <laughs> of I mean, we got the results of the polygraph, and uh, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> you did not, although, shouldn't have. And if you did, I, I'm gonna say this for 399. Out of the three of those, the George T. Stag is probably kind of close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eight hundred for the stag. It's not bad. Yeah, but not three ninety nine. Close. No. I would drink it, and not for that price, I wouldn't. No. Yeah. No. no. I, yeah, I. I, I, I paid six hundred dollars for my stag, but it was a very sentimental bottle. Was the only reason. So. Yeah. yeah. Even at that, that's, so I don't want to make you feel bad, but I paid sixty five for my stag. Oh yeah. Oh wait, George no, but you're talking about George C. Stack for me. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, no, yeah. George. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. it's our right. junior. No, sixty-five for that. I was going to say I'll double your money. Uh, <laughs> yeah, easily. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, go, I'll be already. generous. I'll triple it. Oh, well, <laughs> we have an auction. <laughs> oh, look! I traded. Uh, Vic hmm. decided to show up. He must have been out of the game. I can he see just that. woke up. There you go. He yeah, was at a game. game. I did yeah. not. Hold on, Vic. I didn't say that. I want to let you know that the nicest person in the world just said that you just. Yeah. Woke up. <laughs> the other day he had woken up at. It was like five p.m. for us. He was supposed to be on a stream, and he's like two hours late for us to do a blind. <laughs> Like you know, it's, uh, it's just the time difference. It's just the different time zone. That's all. <laughs> he just took a nap. He didn't really sleep that long. <laughs> there you go. No comment. No comment. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just going to sip some of this whiskey. There you go. Good answer. <laughs> yeah, but it's almost gone. It's almost gone. Nice. That's really good. You had some of this peerless. I brought. I, I brought some of the, yes, this. Is, this I is the one I brought that. to uh, Kentucky. We we had some there. I was like the two year old. Like it's been in. It was in one. the barrel for sixteen months. Sixteen months. Yeah. yeah. So it's so freaking ridiculous. Yeah, the color is crazy. Yeah, it's coffee. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's so dark. I mean, I don't have the best lighting tonight. I'm kind of kind of dim, but uh, yeah. you could tell. I mean, if I held it up next to something else, it's finished awesome. in Guinness. 
Here. Yeah. Here's here's a rebel yell. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a bit dark. Like I can see your face through the rebel yell. Right. You can, can see everything through the rebel yell. Good luck with this. No. <laughs> we can see the mic through the rebel yell. <laughs> nope. So I got a fresh crack right now. Okay. What, Ooh, you, what you got? Oh, these bitches. Ooh, Derek, I'm fresh bitches. crack. That one's open. Get Derek. It looks open. You just well, cracked that? I just cracked it a drink ago. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> How is it? It's excellent. There you go. Hey, Ronnie. What's up, Ronnie? Hey, guys. This one, 129. Hey, Ronnie. What'd you say? 120 what? 129.3. Hey, Brian. Oof. There you go. Nice night cap. What is the uh, call out for that one? Uh, for sure. Oh, there you go. A little Jack yeah. Daniels. Hold on. Let me see that one. Yeah, it's actually a 131. I they're right. 131. Yeah. Okay. That's excellent. Yeah. That's excellent. I love their rise. I do too. But hey, well, I was going to ask you guys if any of you guys had the chance to have any of this. Yep. Oh, oh. oh yeah. I've had, oh. I had like, everything crown. <laughs> everything crown. There you go. Number 16. <laughs> Well, how was that, Ronnie? Right? Well, I don't know. That's finish. why I'm asking you guys. Oh, yeah, it's a, a cognac finish. Yeah, yeah. A cognac finish. Well, <laughs> so I mm. bought it, and then I I didn't drink for a while. I was in a smoking phase, and then um, I had like a life changing event type deal, and I opened it up. My old roommate evidently helped himself. What? Yeah. Oh, oh, no. oh, that's Wait. the problem with those bottles with the hole in them. Wait, yeah. you bought it? <laughs> You're talking about this body? He said his roommate. Uh, he, you did say old roommate, right? Ex roommate. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's it. So I bought a new store back yeah. when they had them. So I paid the yeah. 80 bucks or whatever. And then uh, I, like I said, all of a sudden I'm like, okay, I'm going to celebrate. And I pull it out. And that's what was left. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Man. And then uh, I looked on secondary and they're like 1700 bucks. Jeez. Uh-huh. That is yeah. crazy. A good <laughs> compromise is the yeah, kind of like so. Which is cognac hey, finish. Hey, very, Ronnie, very I know a place yeah. where you can bury a body. <laughs> I was just about to say, don't tell us where you put the body. <laughs> we got some pink farms around us. It'd be fine. Uh, we See, Zach was thinking like I was down here. <laughs> Zach was thinking yeah. I was thinking. Hey, what I didn't say where I was what putting for a in the house. Sip it on some well or single barrel. There you go. There you go. Nice. That's a new name nice. for me every other weekend. <laughs> Especially on a Tuesday. That really confuses the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you do every other weekend, but I hope you're enjoying yourself when you do it. <laughs> if you do. All right. So I'm, I'm finishing off that peerless double oak, and that's really fantastic. This would be yeah, it is. So the, yeah. the problem with this one is is it's a it's single barrel, and there was only 67 bottles out of that single barrel. Oh, not, not a lot. That is tough. Oh, Short God. barrel. The regular single barrels of those are good, but mm. mm-hmm. this is ridiculous. This is so freaking good. It might be the best peerless anything I've ever had. Wow. And that's that's it. I, in general, I like what peerless does, but this one's fantastic. Yeah. Have you tried the uh, absinthe? No. Done? I didn't know they had an absinthe. That's they crazy. do. It's interesting <laughs> if you like <laughs> black licorice. Um, you know the the the, the anise thing, the the yeah, the anise. Yeah, yeah that, that can that can get to you if it's it's a little it's overwhelming. Normal. The problem is it'd be Correct. hard to drink anything else. You know, you yes, that and yeah. only that. Probably to me, that's uh, the only trial I've had with that. That's been the only note that I've stuck with. Every other weekend and travels. Every other weekend, that means he's home <laughs> every other weekend as well. There you <laughs> go. That's how I see it. Thanks, it'd be Sean. good in a Sazerac, but I, I can't think of much else with a heavy mm. absinthe taste to it, you know? Yeah. 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 It, it is like to me actually putting an absinthe rinse on like a cocktail. So, so but, what is it? Is, yeah. it? is it an absinthe finished whiskey? Yeah. I've never even knew they did anything like that. So they they did it like once. I, I mean, once, I yes. Like Fair enough. One, I think they did it once. <laughs> one shot. Yeah. That's how like Chattanooga is too. They'll do stuff at their like one yes. time. 
<clears throat> yep. try to grab a lot of that experimental stuff. And some of it's I mean, good, yeah. some of it's not so good. <clears throat> not a lot. Yeah. Some of it's, uh, it's kind of a miss, but some of it's really yeah, that good. Bottle is, I mean, it's not like good. I said, I'll, I'll admit. I'll, I'll <laughs> Darrell, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, boy, short anyone, tr- anyone tried the toasted pure list that just came out? I don't know what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll get to see that one. So do we think do we think toasted is kind of played out? Double oaking is that played out? Have we have we reached mm, into that? Cycle? It's normal. Yeah, it's um, no longer like, unique in the marketplace. I'll tell you that. Correct. You're right with that, Zach. I, like miss. I say Can't. toasted is played out. Double oak is still okay with me. Double oak's okay. So you're thinking that that that's the differentiating factor if you go full on double oak versus a toasted barrel. Yeah, toasted would just be the first barrel just. Yeah, it's charred, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So um, the secondary finishing is still, oak, I think. I like double oak too. Yeah. yeah, this moves it out yeah. a bit, a little bit. Well, most of the toasted's not cast strength either, right? Correct. Yeah, they, they at least in my experience. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Burton, I didn't get that one. I wish I would have got that one. White port, White port champagne. Oh. Yeah, the chat knew yeah, no, I tried that one. <laughs> Your regular port finish one is fantastic. It's one of the best port yes. finishes I've ever had. Yes. But I just think yes. it's because that high malt mash bill and that port just works so well together. Mm-hmm. Like the the malt adds that chocolate thing to it that takes away from the sulfur from the port from, from the yeah. wine finish. That's I like one of the few that I picked up in Tennessee pretty well. Uh, that's an entire shelf of Chattanooga. <laughs> <laughs> All of it. High, high malt is one of those one of those bridge whiskeys. Okay, yeah. You're getting real close yeah. to scotch. So if you like scotch, you like the see, high malt. See, I don't find yeah. their, their high malt mash bills to be anything like scotch. Or, yeah. They're, they're like, um, th- yeah, the chocolate thing. The chocolate note, the, you know. Yeah. Do you know the percentage, Sheech? Do they, do they talk about um, their mash no. bill at all? Ooh. Oh, well, here's the problem with Chattanooga is they have like 44 different mash bills. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 So they, they, they're not beholden to any one mash bill i mean they have their their standards like for the 91 proof and the 111 proof they don't they, really still, just, they say bourbon though right uh they some of them just say whiskey whiskey uh, yeah yeah okay so they could yeah. be more than yeah okay yeah so yeah. like something like this i'll just grab one at random this is a chattanooga whiskey single barrel so a, a pick um this one is um Let's see what it says. This one's at 59.65. So pretty good proof on that. Um, Here's the information. Contains one of four unique mash bills. It says There you go. Uh, (laughs) And then it tells you the codes for those mash bills, which mean nothing to you. And then it says that it was fermented for seven days. And then the cooperage is charred or toasted and charred. Charred or toasted and charred oak barrels. What's all these ores? <laughs> and, ores yeah. 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 and then um, no filtration. Bottle uh, occasionally captures uh, barrel sediment. And there is a little bit of barrel sediment in this one. Um, and the age is greater than four years. And the barrel size 53 gallons. It's so vague. Like just, It is kind wow. of and That label is used for everything. Or, <laughs> Here's the thing. You you can go to Chattanooga website, I think, and find out what the mash bill is if you know the code. So the codes on these are like B0004, B0005, uh, SB055, or SB091. And I think the SBs are like um, where they add more rye to the mash bills. It's one of those, like a high rye versus just the high malt. But all of them are very malt forward. But... Mm. I don't know. I find them. I find them to be delicious. I find a lot of their stuff to be delicious, and then some of it's a little challenging. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. yeah. I, I think their their finished whiskey is one of the best finished whiskeys I've had. But you also gotta like tequila. Have um any of you gents tried the short barrels yet? I've never had a short barrel. Yeah. No. Yeah. no? Yeah, sounds like Jason sending out some samples this week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, I got a few. We can do it. I mean, if you got them, I would love to try. Right. I'd like to give them a try. You know, some of those you hear about them existing, but you don't ever hear about them going anywhere. Yeah, Burton. That was what I was saying. They're, they are transparent, but they don't actually put it on the bottle. You got to go 
from yeah. the model to the website and then plug in those numbers and then you can find out what's in it. But I, I, I is totally transparent. They're out of Atlanta. Um, actually, one of their owners is part of our bottle club, but uh, and they're hit or miss. You know, they got some really good. So uh, one of the um, club barrel picks we just got was uh, was basically a Booker's Mash Bill. Good night, Jake. Finished in a um, Four Roses limited edition barrel. Oh, okay. it was pretty good actually. <laughs> um, they have a honey one that's to die for. Um, mm. They have an El Jefe, which is a tequila finish. That there you go. I, I don't know what you're ever going to do with that one. No, it's awful. It's terrible. <laughs> uh, probably not to everybody, though. No, I love tequila, but that is not, <laughs> That's no. just not working for you? That one does not work. That's what I like about Chattanooga is they literally have a distillery, and then they have an experimental distillery. Yes. And the experimental yes. distillery, yeah. they try some wild stuff, but they only like the – they might do three barrels of it. They don't do yeah. It. Yeah. So limited then, run. Yep. Yeah. And then they'll they'll bottle it up, and that's it. It was a one shot. You know. Yep. All right. I'm saying I'm sans poor right now. I need a I need a beverage. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> I'm oh, pretty boy. easy right now. I'm not <laughs> drinking Chattanooga though. No. Do do, no. do you? Do you still have the uh, honey finished rye? I do. You should you should have more of that just for me because my, I didn't the, keep any for myself. The, yeah, the problem with that is once I drink that, that's all I'm going to taste for the rest of the night. <laughs> okay, well then don't don't do that then. It's 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 good at the end of the night, but if anything else I drink afterwards is going to have that weird little honey note. But I do love that stuff. That stuff is good. So that's a the Cedar Ridge. Um, I'm killing that bottle. Dude. Oh yeah, that Cedar Ridge. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Darrell had some of this. The Cedar Ridge, none your business. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was gonna, it's oh, a I'm good one. Your beeswax, none your beeswax. Sorry. Nice. It was good. Uh, I I made sure Darrell got this because Darrell gave me a honey fish finish whiskey that blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the honey finishes are delicious. Yeah, this one's really. Good. I like the honey finish rye. That yeah, that really worked for me. You know, I think once it goes you, to like maple, it's too much. But hun- a good honey is not bad. Yeah. Have you had any of a uh, Kings County honey finish? It's I just have. six year MGP honey finish. I have not. I have not. I didn't know they actually did that. Uh, yeah, King Kings County does, in my opinion, good honey finish. Oh, that is. There. I might know some people that can get me that. <laughs> yeah. No, and I recommend that for $80 uh, a bottle. It's good. Brian, I have not picked up the men holiday yet. I haven't been up that way quite yet. All right. Every other weekend is saying I should drink Michter's Barrel Strength Rye. Ooh. I don't know if I have one of those. Open. Barrel Strength Rye. I might have to open one. I can do that. I can do that. Right. Give me one second. Got a toasted? That's technically I'll Barrel Strength Rye. I'm not opening my last one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't know it was sealed. <laughs> I, I, got, I got one more on the way. And once the option one shows up, then I'll open one. But I, I have several of the barrel. I have open. several of the barrel strength rise. So we'll be right back. This is what I had barrel strength. Hazmat. Yeah, yo. Yeah. Ooh, Hazmat. Yeah, 143. Right. That's hot. It doesn't drink hot. I was going to say, I can do the less. Jack Daniels single barrel, but that's about it. The 139. Yeah, well, that's what I'm doing right now, the 131. I, it, mm-hmm. I've been running into 128 and 129. I just hadn't bought them. And then today, I've been. Yeah. Into- it's Until you get rid of this 139, I'm not picking up any of the ones that I've seen so far. Yeah. My hazmat is a 27 year old Canadian whiskey from Cat's Eye. Uh, yeah. The uh, Nerds and Turds pick? No, oh, it's not. No? It's, it's older than that. I think it was distilled in 95. Ah, okay. Yeah. I think that's the only one that I have that's that level from Obtainium. That's. Cat's Eye Obtainium is is only like uh, 20 minutes from me, so like we see a lot of uh, in the area. I can't buy yeah. it from there, but I can I can uh, I can get it nearby. Yeah. Wait, which which level? Sorry. For what? The Obtainium, I think. For the Obtainium. Oh, it's a uh, 77 point something, I think. Oh hmm. wow! It's it's warm, but it doesn't drink terrible. It's it's like Canadian light whiskey. Yeah, 
That's the nerves and turrets pick they've got. It's one sixty one proof, and it's like okay, well, it's it's hot, but yeah, it's still delicious. Uh, Brian, I, haven't, I haven't tried that sample yet. It's on the other side of the room. I'd have to go get it, but I'm um, I'm trying to figure out which one of these barrel strength rise. <laughs> what year is that? Twenty guys. I, uh, I have two twenty ones and one twenty two. The twenty twos were high proof. They were like mid teens versus the twenty ones. Yeah. So the twenty yeah. ones are uh, one twelve, and I got one that's one oh eight, which I'm the holding. Twenty two is probably above that, no? Like one thirteen. Twenty two is one twenty point four. Oh, Wait, one twenty? That's a big difference. That's a big difference. Yeah. No, is it really? Yeah. One twenty point four. What the heck? I, I don't know if I've seen anything over one. I know that's why I haven't opened this because everybody keeps telling me is like I've never seen one that high. So I think I had one that was like one sixteen, which like we actually a friend of mine messaged Mictors and they were like that was one of the highest that they put. I've never seen anything one twenty. Yeah, so them. so I got two twenty ones. One's a one oh eight point four. The other one's one twelve even, and then this twenty two is. One twenty point four. <laughs> yeah, the one the twenty twos were crazy. I had like two or three at the time. Now I don't want to open any of them. They were <laughs> one twelve. One twelve, Cheech. Uh open one and I'll I well I, I, yeah, will, I will but I, I will. I'm gonna open the one twelve. It's your birthday. Come on. It is my birthday. This this would be my and you guys know I love Mictor, so we do. Mixers. We do know that. <laughs> you guys know I love Victor's. My proof doesn't compete. And, and, and old turkey. Well, let's turkey. open this thing. Old turkey. I opened turkey on Friday for my uh, celebration stream for my channel anniversary. I opened when that uh, wild turkey birthday? 12 year. My birthday's Sunday. Okay. Oh, is that the purple bo box? Yeah, the purple box. Yeah. Damn, I'm gonna be yeah. sad. There's a short that's, barrel. That's tasty. Yeah, here's a short barrel. Oh yeah, it's definitely tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Not easily Spendy. obtainable. Spendy, it's but tasty. Spendy. It just fell from the sky. I don't know how I got it. It doesn't taste like 101, that's for sure. All right, let's do it. Let's crack this Mictor's barrel strength ride from 2021. Do it. Do it. On. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Ooh. America. Mine's 108 Ooh. proof. <laughs> But there you go. 2015 now. Fort Nelson in the house. Oh, is that what you're cracking at Fort Nelson? <laughs> no, I wish. Uh, I mean, I I could have my, that's probably what I should have grabbed instead of this one. But I could have opened that, but I opened this instead. So <laughs> <laughs> I do have my Fort Nelson sitting right there, just yeah. crying out to me. Drink me, drink me, Cheech. Soon. Hey, yeah, Northwest Fred in the house. What's up, Mark? Good to see you, buddy. Oh, I'm I'm so happy. So the problem is, is now I've opened this. <laughs> now it's it's, it's gone. gone. It's, it's gone. gonna yeah. be gone. It's gone. <laughs> it, it, it won't be gone super quick, but it won't last either. So I poured a nice healthy pour of that. I don't know if I, he'll be I cheering us this. with it, but he'll be having a great time. That's a yeah. good smell of whiskey. <laughs> I'm no. never disappointed in the Mictors. These these no, rides are amazing. No sir. God, that's so good. So I just got like um like candy, like like some of these cooking sugar like Jen's in making caramel or something in the uh, kitchen like I can smell it cooking Dude, this oh, one's like good. so crazy like they were way different like this one's almost 10 years old well from 10 years ago yeah but it's way different like my Fort Nelson I taste that compared to this like they're night and day different like this is so much better even at a lower proof mm. it's freaking wild it's the first one I've owned too Oh, wow. Back when freaking wow. secondary market wasn't crap, it was probably like 200 bucks for that bottle. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness, I just had a sip of that, and immediately I was like, why do I wait so long to open <laughs> something? <laughs> there you go. And that's so for for, for, for moments it. like this. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Moments like this. Yeah. Oh, God, that smells so good and tastes so good. Oh, man, what a finish on this thing. Like, it just keeps going and going. That's nice. What I like about about whatever the whatever the Mictors rise are, you know, sourced yeah. or contract distilled or whatever, uh, mm -hmm. I never get too much herbal and I never get too much mint. It like it, it's it's yeah. like it skates a line between those two things without being either one. Yeah, it just does it does a really good job. 
This is a purposely still a proof. So you get the flavor with the lower. Yeah, proof. their entry proof is like a hundred. It's like a like hundred and three or something like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. really Nectars low. This is awesome. That's why that other one at one hundred and twenty point four proof is an anomaly because that's a big that's proof. Like, that's really for them. Yes, yeah, that is. When I, I saw I, that, I was like, "That's going home with me." That's what I said. Mine was, I think, one sixteen, one seventeen. Yeah, one. The teens were the ones I heard that were the like the highest ones, and then, like I said, yeah. I saw one at one twenty. I was like, I gotta buy that. Oh, good lord! Yeah, I've never. The only thing I don't even know because even Maker's twenty, I think, is one sixteen. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen any makers regardless of what it was i don't know what 25 is in terms of proof i think yep. that's right around a that's little higher i was looking at uh <laughs> do you see this trade this this might be yeah. the most mm. trade yeah, i've ever heard of. i was looking at i mean that's um it so make this 20 is definitely way better yeah yeah I'm but just the, i think so the I value so. the value on the 20 yeah. is above like secondary right. market, right? Values yeah. above yeah. that mixers. Yeah. They dropped actually, which is surprising. Yeah, but if you're gonna drink it, I'd rather have the mixer twenty all day. <laughs> all day, every day. All day. Every yeah. day. Yeah. Not I've, even drank, I've only drank it one time and it was literally the best whiskey I've ever had in my life. It's so good. So Same. good. Same. The mixers, right? Not the, yeah, the mixers. No, yeah, the, the yeah. mixers twenty. Yeah. Uh, for me, the pappy is best at the at the fifteen year. Fifteen, yeah. Fifteen years. Yeah. Yes. Pappy. And fifteen yes. year didn't blow me. Away way that's for sure no it's good there's definitely better whiskey out there for yeah sure. yeah mm-hmm. like mickers 20 <laughs> <laughs> yes. that's there's better. a lot there's a lot that's of fair. them besides mickers 20 Let's see. well mixers. hold on we can go through the list uh mickers 20 or king of kentucky mickers 20 yeah mickers yeah. or <laughs> peppy 23 mickers 20 like you president's, can go through choice. Yeah, president's choice president's choice going and it's peppy always 15. it's gonna be mickers 20 I don't oh i was talking about over peppy 15 I don't even know about the oh, Mictor's yeah. 25, but I'm sure that's pretty good, too. Yeah, I've never had that. I've never I had that. I want to do the next time yeah. I'm out there. I want to yeah. do that tour Gary French. He did like two times with Blake. Yeah. That legacy tour or whatever yes. it is. And you get yeah. to take 25. Drill. I'm in. I know. I want to do that. I don't know. Like, they did it both times. Oh, out there, so it seems like it's easy, but. Like, well, I, I maybe we more. know somebody who knows somebody. <laughs> yeah, you do. I Imagine bet you do. That. We probably yeah, Rory, know you know somebody. Hook me up. Yeah, just somebody hook us up. Imagine that. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Big Cat. I appreciate it, buddy. Yeah. But that, I'm yeah, going to be super be duper old on Sunday. Like, I'm going to be an entire day older than I am on Saturday. How old are you going to be? Oh, my God. 36. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, in, in the five jet or are you still in the four? Oh, I'm way into the five. Yeah. Oh, are you shit? Damn. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, no, you're not. Hey, hey Darrell, he dyed yeah, that beard, brother. He wears a wig. I do. I do dye the beard. Did, did it today just for you guys. Uh, f- 54. Okay. No way. Yeah, way. Wow. I tell people it's all that good, clean, healthy. That is- it is crazy to me, but it is crazy. Crazy. All that whiskey. almost all almost whiskey. seven years on me. Almost yeah. seven. If it's crazy to you, you, can imagine how it feels to my my knees. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. It hurts. It hurts. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but, you I, know, I'm not gonna even stop my age. But yeah, fine. listen, I, I, my my life is blessed beyond belief. I I things are things are just better than they should ever be for me. But they just are. Things are good. No. No, not true. Not true. Not true. Not true. Not, you you no. see his wife, right? They should, they should be with her. You deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it. I'm not going to lie. I guess that puts, puts me at the second, second oldest on stream. On the stream. Uh, Ryan just, that was a very backhanded thing to say. He's like, but Cheech is older. <laughs> I'm the second one. Probably the youngest, and I'm okay with that, but still, damn. Wasn't it nice of Ronnie to join us for a few minutes? <laughs> I'm not far behind you. You're not. You're not. But that's okay. I'm not either. Yeah. That's not I either. think that puts us in order. The, the yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, there we go. Hold on. I saw something from Ooh. Fats Wave because he was bitching about being the oldest guy in the world. 65. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He is. Oh, he yeah. 65. yeah. There you go, buddy. There you go. Uh, let me tell you something about Fats Wave. That guy's got some good fucking whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it. Uh, listen, he brought some whiskey to my meetup. It was just like, 
was like mind blowing wow. for everybody who got a little of that. That he did, <laughs> including a a Saz eight. What was it? A Saz eighteen from twenty oh twenty oh six. So an eighteen year old from eighteen years ago. <laughs> Still in the 80s. Yeah, and then a, a, Noah, a Noah's Mill from like 15 years ago or something like that. That was crazy. Really? A Noah's Mill? Yeah, That's like crazy. super old. Super old. Super old. Noah's. Wax top ones. Probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know. Uh, oh my gosh. Wow. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. There we go. JD's birth, birthday and his anniversary are coming up. There you go. 16 years. There you go, buddy. 16 and, and Big Cat, it doesn't take long to grow this. Nah, no. Nah. Brian could shave that off and it'll be back like a week from next Thursday. Exactly. Everybody always <laughs> uses their shit, but it comes I shaved back. mine off earlier <laughs> today. It just like... goes right back. It's like the Brian's same beard's as long as his mustache a week later. <laughs> it's kind of true. Exactly. <laughs> That's hey, like, guys, I'm by, trying. Hey, hey, Drill, you see this? When I, I, I just through. read it, but like, like you said. We just we'll get Gary in there. We'll I was gonna say perpetually out. sold out sounds he went like twice in one month. Just sounds saying. like a challenge to me. That's all that sounds like to me. I'll go on a <laughs> I'll go on a Tuesday. Yeah. I don't care what day of the week. Dude, the, the make this twenty five. <laughs> I live close enough to be fine. We got a place. Oh fine. <laughs> How hard do you think it'll get? It'll be for them to get me to leave though. Yeah, your tour is over, sir. I'm like, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> I still have a time on the rack. It's fine. I'm still, I'm still, still living. In, I'm still living in the tour. I'm living in the tour. <laughs> Hundred bucks. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess, Zach. You're thirties. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, he is. Zach's, <laughs> Zach's the second youngest person on the stream. Maybe. Well, it's you Durrell, or Durrell. Durrell. It's you or Durrell. It is me yeah. or Durrell. Yeah. How old yep, is that? Yep, yep. I will be 36 in July. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I gotcha. It's close. <laughs> it's close. It's close. <laughs> Not by much. Not, Not by, much. by a lot. <laughs> be 39 in a couple months. There you go. Ah. Well, I can just tell you yeah. this. I keep getting younger every year I get older. <laughs> it's yeah. fair. I don't know how it works. how I feel, at least. Yeah. Well, like I said, like everything but the right knee, right foot and right knee. I'm good. Yeah. yeah. It's like my wife. She's perpetually 32. There you go. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you go. I will my wife. Will, she's six and a half years younger than me. I so, won't yeah. out my wife, but she's younger than I am. Yeah. It's all right. My wife it's has right. yet to break 30, so. Whew. There you go. Hold on for that. <laughs> Heck, Jenna. Yeah. There I'm good go. with that. My, my wife was doing this as well. So, oh, Zach knows. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mine was a cheerleader. That too. Eh. <laughs> Mine too. Mine did not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hold she, on. she feels old and decrepit because she did like USA gymnastics. Yeah. Was yeah. part of the whole Nasser thing, and it was bad. But oh see, God, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was going to say gymnastics itself is is punishing, but you throw that yeah. little uh, modifier in there, it's more than punishing. <laughs> exactly, yes. Welcome to the club. Uh, yeah. Morel, do you see this? Uh, yeah, Martin, I'm, I'm like, There's no that. opening until like 2027. Yeah, that's when, I, that's when I call my buddy up. Yeah, I think we got. We might need to pull some strings. Yeah. Let's make yeah, that yeah, happen, Morel. Right. You want to do that next time I'm there. What do you think, October? <laughs> Dude, I, I would it's already booked, you. Cheat. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I know it's going to be tough. We got we got a lot of things stacked against us this year. Yeah, like the next, like I got back, like I got to fly out for Backbone in mm -hmm. like a couple weeks. Then we got another pick in May. Then Cheech is doing like the little birthday thing in Cali for me in June. Not Cheech, Vic. I mean, that's <laughs> <laughs> not the time. Oh, Vic. But I, oh. <laughs> Vic. Think about what he said. <laughs> Bye, Darrell. Love you. Uh, <laughs> I can't dip Darrell for too long. Then, Darrell goes to the box. To luckily, I don't have to come back. pay to go to Jason's event, which will be cool. So whenever that is, which is probably in that time frame. That same time frame, of course. Yeah. <laughs> it always works out there. What's up, JD? We shall see. He's frozen. Yeah. Where's his going to be, Darrell? Kentucky? Kentucky at Bardstown, yeah. I'll wait till I see you move. Ah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll be going there with the shelf turds probably beginning of November. Nice. 
might be a little chilly, but still, yeah. still a good time to be there. Yeah. Man, I, 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 love, I love an hour away. Kentucky so in fine. October. Kentucky in October is so the shelf good. Turns, when we were there in October, it wasn't bad. Little it was fire, like bad. fire pit, like temperatures, good food, like like good food, whiskey, fires in the backyard. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. JD dipped himself. That wasn't me. Um, yeah. Yeah. Good food sounds good to me. So, yeah. mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah, like I said. <laughs> I'm in Northern Kentucky, like right outside of Florence. So y'all oh, good for you, man. Uh, come nice, here, nice. <laughs> uh, Darrell, real quick. Um, Bardstown food or Willets food? Bardstown, Bardstown right? Yeah. Except yeah. for the egg salad sandwich. Willet only has like eight things on a menu. Yeah. The crazy thing is they don't. They, when we went, they didn't have a full menu anymore. Everything no, was, it like, was, uh, it was like literally like, was like appetizers or something. And I may be exaggerating by saying eight. It might have been less than that. I think like, it was because me and Jen ordered one of everything, mm. and then yeah, we shared with like the table. Appetizers, obviously, yeah. the egg sandwich thingy. Yeah, yeah, we got a couple Bardstown, of egg sandwiches. So. Bard's sounds so freaking good, hands down. <laughs> that fried chicken sandwich I had was phenomenal. So good. good. I think I got the fillet again. <laughs> yeah, I love you. How'd that happen? <laughs> oh, and that uh, that, What's this? that Cuban place we ate the first night. Oh God! Oh my God! That place. <laughs> That, place that was, was ridiculous. In terms of food, that was probably the, the best. best of the week, right? Well, Other than the stuff we cooked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, <laughs> other than that, yeah. Like, yeah, that was that question. The presentation on opening the can of mm. um, what you guys I forgot what she had, but dude, oh, that place was fantastic. That place was so good. Mm. God, that was such a fun time. Yeah, <laughs> it it's crazy how 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 quickly everything went by yeah and how far past we are now we're actually closer to doing it again than we are wild yeah like when you're going through it there right, it seems like oh yeah it's it's taking a bit but once you're home and you're and you're thinking about it now you're like shit it was like freaking five six months ago yeah, yeah. Well, it was october five was, months ago it was the first part of october too it was like the yeah. first week in october so Five and a half months. Holy crap. Yeah, we're we're almost ready to circle close. at that point. Chili cookies, breakfast. My Hold on. So fresh baked cookies every single day. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Turn, turn down. Because because when because when Jeff was saying what's your travel agents, I'm like, we're we're driving. He's like, Oh, you're <laughs> driving. I'm like, Yeah, that's the only way we can bring a cooler full of cookie dough. <laughs> Which is exactly what we did. So good time. There you go. It was. That was a great time. That was that was one of the best times I've had in my life. Period. That was just so much fun. I like the first Airbnb where we had the two different apartments attached to each other, (laughs) where we were kind of frat boying it a little bit. You know, Jane was the The only. Second one was kind of crazy though. (laughs) Second one was like living La Vida Loca. That was (laughs) (laughs) that place was wild. Um, Freaking fifty foot. It it was like being in. It was like it being in Scarface. That's what it felt like to me, you know, like like the the over overdoneness of the rooms themselves. Yeah, you know, really old piece. And you have, and you have black crazy wall, decor. Yeah, black <laughs> wallpaper with gold dragons on it. <laughs> <laughs> that was our room. Our room was pretty 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 crazy. That, that was a good have time. Any, sorry, have any of you guys been up to Sagamore yet? No, no, no not Maryland. Oh, I, I missed had. this. Um, this last trip. Yeah, made. slap shots, man. I, I live ninety minutes from Sagamore. Okay. I don't know why Brian's not hanging out there every day. <laughs> Fair. So I got a tour skills up there for uh, June. June. Okay. You said a tour. Yeah. Where Where are you at? In He's in Florida. So oh. I'm in Florida, but we have a buddy who lives up in Maryland, and. You know some folks over there, so he kind of hooked us up with this whole "we're gonna do the VIP thing," and nice. I'm pretty stoked about it because I do look. So Slapshot threw up the eight-year Sagamore earlier, which is one of my favorite Sagamores oh, ever. So freaking good! Yeah, yeah, oh, good. so good, so good. I've been doing a ride on that. Might have some. Oh, the good. double O. Oh, the double O. Nice whiskey. Double yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Since we're so talking we're about double O, and stuff, yeah. I love yes, that. Sir. That the first bottle of that double oak rye I got when it first dropped, I think I knocked that thing out in like six days. 
Yeah, and I, I never do that with a bottle, but like I literally every day I was like, I'm gonna drink some more of this Agamore Double Oak. I'm gonna this. And that's what I did for like a week straight. It was gone. It's like that was yeah. quick. That was quick. That yep. in 2022, yep. that was the bottle that I I finished the quickest in the whole year. Mm-hmm. Just good. Just knocked it out. So good. Mm-hmm. I lo- I love the Sagamore stuff in general, though. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Not a doing some dude. Did you get? Oh wow. Well. <laughs> I don't know if you're part. I don't know if you're part of a group um, that we're in, we but freaking essence like junkies. No, like, this stuff is freaking Sagamore. Dude, mm-hmm. I have, oh, the bourbon, the bourbon. Oh my god! I have bourbon. a a pick that was a single barrel from recently, like maybe a month ago. That is freaking out of this world. Like, I don't know, know what the heck they're doing over there. Bourbon four. Hold on, Darrell, hold on. You're saying bourbon, not rye. Yeah, bourbon, Correct. bourbon. Yeah. Contract oh, distilled for the junkies. Which, it is. which one? I'll show you. Hold on, let me. Now, Darrell, when when we were in Michigan for the bourbon junkies meetup, I oh, I got oh. to go up to at the I guess it was Essence at the time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? Shot? Curfew, but ever north. That is. And tried some of that mm-hmm. stuff Agamar. from the barrel, and it was fantastic. Mm. So good. This oh. stuff is nuts. Let me grab the bottle. I've got a bottle of the rye four. So I've yet to open up bourbon four. Oh, you got that? Yeah. Okay. We got Ooh. one, three, four. I've got I've got one, one and three of the rye. I've got one and two of the bourbon and two, uh two. That's two. I've got two of the rye. Ah. All right, I'm gonna need some samples because I haven't got any of the bourbon. Right. Oh, oh J-Max, is that the 11 year or the 10 year? 11. 11. That's so good. It is good. Ooh. This one's not open, though. That's just good. Yeah, I thought it was good. It's just a single barrel. So, same label as the batch, too. Yeah. Um, okay. Have, but a single barrel yeah. from the group. And this thing mm. is freaking ridiculous. Ridiculous. Like, it's oh, so wow. good. It's only five Two's, years old. Yeah. Oh, oh so yeah. I got it too. Yeah. Unfortunately, have another backup of that one too. What you got there, Ron. That's the American. They're American. Oh, the yeah. American. Yeah, there you go, buddy. I haven't opened yeah, it yet. Because there's one and four. Oh. That's dark too for an American. Yeah, it is. Uh-huh. Got some good color. <laughs> yeah, it's the American one. Yeah. But SAG oh, is putting out some crazy stuff bourbon wise, dude. Like, even the rise. Yeah. Dude. Is crazy. Yeah. The rides are great. I haven't tried yeah. the bourbon. Yeah, it's I've got crazy. the rye. I haven't picked it up yet. I'm actually <laughs> oh, Zach's on it. Uh, yeah, I got what six different bottles of them. Yeah, they're good stuff. Wow. <laughs> so, Zach, hey. when's a, when's a good time to pay you a visit, buddy? <laughs> um, <laughs> and I got a new hunt now. Uh, before July, after September, because we're due <laughs> August tenth. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think I'd rather come up before, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean that's perfectly fine by me because uh, I know, like I said, um, Kira and David plan on showing up uh, sometime October, November is when we're going to go. To I was the thinking like more like mid June. Hey, whenever, man. Okay. Let me know. I'll let you <laughs> come drink some of your whiskey. Yeah, it, it, there's. Only about 500 bottles to choose from. There's even tequila. Uh, What's wrong with tequila? Nothing. No, there there just is. Exactly. Tequila. I love tequila. Hey, big cats here. I've got about a 10 year old 1942 that's available. Yeah. I'm a bigger fan of mezcal. Uh, Um, I don't have too many mezcals. So you guys know, for the last couple of years, Jen and I have done a That's Not Whiskey stream on Cinco de Mayo where it's two gringos drinking tequila. We'll be doing it again this year. So I love it. you have that love to look it. forward to. I'll be tuning in yes, and sir. drinking something other than tequila. <laughs> Durell. <laughs> Durell be drinking rum. Probably be drinking some, some rum. Square. Yeah. Some four square. <laughs> there you go. Like, I'm yeah. already tapping out. I'm done. <laughs> I can't no. tequila, man. I love Unless tequila. it's in a margarita. No, oh, I don't know. That. I got a couple of tequilas. Are, tequilas are fantastic. I love them. Mm-hmm. The good ones are good. So I had one of those. Have you tried the Casa Dragones? Nope. But pretty I would. Smooth. But I would. Yeah, pretty smooth. <laughs> yep. I don't, you know what? I'll be honest with you. Smooth isn't something I usually go for. I like chow. Tequila, I like, no. I like chow. You want the funk? 
I like challenging. So, I like something that's like so, steps up and punches me in the mouth a little bit. So smooth is the blanco. Like if you step up in the reposado or the no, I'm more of an añejo or extra añejo. I, right, like a, right, I like I like some other stuff. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. I can't drink clear liquids. It's like a mental block. I mean, even water, even water is a challenge. <laughs> like they need to find a way to age water to where it's more exciting for me. It's a good clear liquid. There we go. Cheers, cheers. Hey, Brian, you're into that. One. <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> Yeah, there's that ten year old monkey. Oh, there you go, nineteen. Uh, there we go, on the Julio. Nice. Ooh, yeah, buddy. Yeah. Let me see that. And my wife got oh, that one there. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Uh huh. Buddy. There you go. And then uh, this is the one that my wife got randomly. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Man. Yeah. So last year, Jen and I opened uh, the Grand, the Grande, the Grand Centenario. Mm. Is that crazy, like fast yeah. bottle? It's a beautiful bottle. But mm-hmm. my problem with tequila bottles is they're so tall they have to exist on the top shelf because they don't fit yep. any of the other shelves. So they got to go all the way to the top, which means I can't reach. Them. I got to get a ladder. It's funny. Your, so your wall is reverse <laughs> of mine. My tall shelves are on the bottom, and my short shelves are on the top. Yeah. Uh, well, my top shelf is nine feet in the air, so it's way up. Mine's ten. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, by the time I get to the ceiling, it's that high for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not a very uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? I'm vertically challenged. I'm a oh, I am too. I'm petite. Petite. <laughs> I won't say I'm petite, but I'm vertically challenged. <laughs> I like to grow. Petite, right? I'm, I'm petite. I might be horizontally challenged, but not vertically. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Uh, that's called girth. You got girth. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, You're, sir. Jason's girthy. That's okay. Got three C. Fine. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he reminds me of freaking Lawrence. Like, yeah, he's he's a little bit Lawrence Beamer like for sure. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that's right. I'm big <laughs> boned. Uh, lots of past the beard, the glasses. Very like, similar. Very similar yeah. for sure. Long lost. They don't even know. They're probably cousins. <laughs> 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 I'd say Lawrence come on here, but he's definitely not coming on here. I think he's about to move I back see, to Chicago. I see Big Cat's on now. Hey, Big Cat. What's up, Whiskey Derby? How, how you doing, bro? Good, man. How you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing all right, man. Do you get? Do you have something poured, Big Cat? Uh, yeah. Right now, I got the um, Bushmills Prohibition recipe. Oh wow! Poured. Nice. I, I I started with the um. Art, Art of the Spirits, the uh, Burr Rye, finishing yeah. rum cast, the uh, cast drink. Yeah, I only have one of those Art of the Spirits. I have like a, it's a port finished, but it's cast drink. It's like a port finished at like 130 something proof. It's ridiculous. Double O. Hmm. Double O. Uh, double o. Yeah. 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 Uh, literally the best labels, period. I do like yeah, that label. It's a beautiful they're, bottle. Yeah, their packaging is yeah. top good. Notch. Top yeah. notch. How is that big cat? Pretty good. Uh, I, I like it, man. I like it. Um, I, I found out the next day that I fucked up and didn't get the bourbon judge um pick, mm. but uh, you know it is what it is. You know, so, can't get them all, man. Just can't get them yeah. all. I, trust me, I've tried. That's how you end up with yeah. the ball like these. <laughs> yeah, it's still I'm yeah. not even close to getting them all. Yeah. Okay. About five days to California means you're not in California, right? Yeah. Correct. <laughs> uh, he is in a little place called Lithuania. Yep. He's a little bit far from California for now, right? So, yeah. So, so Chicha had my interview yesterday. I think it went well. They went on to the next level. So, I have to do a test today. And, mm-hmm. and the lady asked me, when can I start work? Hopefully. And I told her April 4th. So, oh, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping I get the job because I have one more thing to do today. Hopefully I pass it. She didn't even ask me about she didn't ask me anything about the job. She asked me about supervisor, my roles and taking care of employees at fight. That was it. Yeah. Oh. So I was like, uh, didn't ask me for, yeah. I'm like, you didn't ask me what the criteria is, but you're asking me about supervisor role. That's it. And nothing past that. And I'm like, and it's an agricultural area. And I'm like, what's the agriculture part? No, it's a supervisor. I'm like, 
okay. So let's yeah. see what happens. I have finished up the report today. There you go. Send it in, and I'm actually packing everything I have and shipping it all home. There you go. Well, uh, I I feel confident. I feel confident for you, buddy. Well, well, I, awesome. Remember, I, I bought it. Let's get you back stateside. Let's get you stateside so we can hey, have you. Did you get that, <laughs> yes. did you get that yes. diesel car, uh, JD? Two weeks ago, it's been sitting at my house for two weeks now. I just bought a new car. Yes. Oh, yeah. There you go. Um, so, you, so wait a second. You fly back to California in five days and yep. then, then to Hawaii? Yeah, on the 27th, your anniversary. My oh, okay, all, next Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Wow. okay. Yeah. Perfect, man. That's perfect. And then if, if I if you go with streaming because that'll be probably six hour difference. Yeah, I about I might be able to pop on when I land in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. It's possible. Six hours from East Coast, West Coast, West Coast. Well, oh, he's in because he, he, Hawaii is three hour difference because yeah. of the daylight savings. They don't celebrate daylight savings. It, yeah, I wouldn't call it a celebration. <laughs> yeah. well, at, least, well, at least they don't have to change it's you know, a control mechanism we all should stop yeah. that shit yeah it's a control mechanism let's leave it alone yeah. how about this I'll split the difference with you let's set it back a half an hour in the fall and then leave it the fuck alone <laughs> man well, I, Afghanistan I, I, so Afghanistan is 12 and a half di hours difference between uh, California and there 12 and right. a half hours difference because they do the half yeah, exactly. Hey, hey yeah. Big That's Vic, I, I still got this hat, brother. You there already you know. Bass Pro. Nice. Bass Pro. Don't roll that. I got to nope. rock the Bass Pro, you know. Now that he yeah. said so. Now all you need to do is crack open a PBR and we're set. Dude, I can't drink go. beer. I can't, I can't drink beer anymore. I used to, but yeah. I can't do it no more. Well. But uh, I, a, I, I try not I, to drink too much beer anymore. I, 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 can, I can drink whiskey, so it's all yeah. good. Well, that's what we're here to all do. All good. The whiskey yep. all good. after all. All right. Yeah. I got nothing poured, and I'm tempted to pour some more of that uh, Victor's Rye. Not going to lie. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Mm. I got uh, quintess quintessential port side. This has got to be my last pour. Quintessential from uh, our friends at Cedar Ridge. Yeah. It's cast drank too. It's like there 116, 117 too. Mm, that's the that's probably the darkest Cedar Ridge I've ever seen. It's very uh, very good port too. Yeah. I mean, I haven't had a ton of ports, but it's it's up there. Is Zach the youngest on screen, or is it Big Cat? Ooh, that Big Cat's. Ooh, like, uh, I'm probably the youngest. You're probably the youngest at this point. Yep. Yeah. yeah. How old are you? Early 22. 22. Less than 30. Yeah. I knew that. <laughs> Shit, a, less than 30. His entire face, yeah. it has no gray. Yeah. yeah. I have no gray. What are you talking about? These numbers have no meaning. I'm just saying. Under 30? I have no gray either. Yeah. JD Sweet has gray in his beard. I have a lot I, of gray. I, I, I turned the 5 0 next week. Dang. Oh, there you go. Damn. Damn. Let me tell you, uh, JD, everything just keeps getting better after 50. Yeah. Yeah, that still puts me in second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wake up, Tom. Yeah. 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 Where are you, buddy? <laughs> Big Long Santa. Is the youngest one on screen. Stop it. I am not. <laughs> no, no. I got third a youngest. Feet. Third youngest. Couple people beat. <laughs> Why isn't Vic on? We got a Rex or Space Vic. He can come on. After that glass issue at the junkies <laughs> meeting, I went sure to roll. Oh, why do you want to bring that up, Zach? How dare you? Uh, hey, hey, I came in second. Damn you, Zach. <laughs> 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 he's, talking about, he's talking about your your the broken glass during yeah, the, the broken glass. Why do you gotta give the cop shot up? Wait, who was there to see that? I saw Not me. It. <laughs> right. I, I actually, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't see it, but I my head whipped around immediately upon hearing it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I heard it was like because I wasn't far when I heard it. I was like, oh shit, something like for glass, and I turned around and it was Oh man! It didn't drop out of my hand. No, it dropped no, out of your back pocket. Was it was in your back pocket. I know it wasn't here. Back pocket. <laughs> Well, no, it was definitely happened. his fault. 
<laughs> I think we still won that round the cornhole anyway. Yeah, you did. <laughs> we won the whole thing. Not us. We no, made yeah. the past two rounds. We we came in second and lost. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's about all I said about that. That was the question. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't remember who won. So I know who yeah. won my cornhole tournament at my uh, meetup, which was, oh, uh, there you go. Which was T-Rob. Tim Robertson and his wife, right. uh, they, they were the winners this year. And then last the year was the last year was the Eminickers. They they won last year. Mm. The an, the answer is you all won. Yeah, we're all winners. Well, yes, <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. Uh oh, hold on. Jerry's pouring a little rare breed. Can't go wrong with turkey. I started uh, the night with turkey. Should I end the night with turkey? Hey, I think good. good. That's good. I'm not. I'm not going to do rare breed though. I think I'll end with uh, maybe Russell's thirteen. Ooh, oh, there you go. Yeah, I got a bottle of that. I think I'll end with Russell's 13. That's, I got a that's that's good pour in 15 minutes or so. That'll, that'll be a good last pour. Yeah. Call me crazy, but I was underwhelmed by the Russell 13 I had. I did not like batch one. I did not get batch two. I like batch three. I tried batch four and it was good. And then this is batch five. They seem to be getting better for me. Yes. I don't know if that's standard, but uh, I like this one a lot. I don't expect no. it to be bad. 114.8 proof. I'll be back. I think they can I'm not, not sure on the Russells. Have you seen the uh, Jack Daniels 14? Yep. I saw the way here yesterday. Yeah. I the so you I don't know if you guys remember. I mean, I've been a whiskey drinker for a while, but um, Jack Daniels used to have age stated at 12, 12, 10, 12 14, 16, and 18. And apparently hmm. they're going to do that again. That's where they're heading is to, to put that back on the shelf. They have old bottles that were age stated like that? Yeah. Oh, no, they're, they're hard to come by, though. I knew the 10 and 12. I didn't know beyond that, though. I know. They, they, they used to do them that old. Damn. Yeah, I seen that that label fourteen oh, at one twenty five proof barrel proof. I'm like, oh my god! Mm-hmm. Oh yes, that, that looks give me like yeah, that was a give so me. good at one hundred seven. Like, come on, the fourteen, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I got a sample of the new twelve that I have to try. I actually tried it, but I need to try it side by side with the with the first twelve. Last year's yeah, twelve was number fantastic. I'm gonna do it now. instead of eighty. What was what that? Old number seven used to be eighty six instead of eighty. Yep. Yep. Oh, it's been, it's yeah. been as high as not, they've actually there's some with ninety. There's some that have been as high as ninety. Wow. So there's been 80, 84, 86, and ninety on the old number sevens that I know of. They might have had some that went higher than that. Are those like older bottles or? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah that one was probably from two thousand. Two thousand, early two thousand. Prior to 2002. Okay. Well, 15 and 18. Yeah, there we go. Yes, yes. Please, please. Yeah. Let's give it up for Jack Daniels for making fantastic whiskey. Other than old number seven. Yeah, I was <laughs> yeah. going to say nine okay. number seven. Nine number seven. Yeah. On that what What's up, Bobby? Whoa. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, Bobby. I think it's 15 and 18. All right, I'm going to cheers you with this uh, Russell's 13 that I just sniffed, and it smells fantastic. It's- Got a little turkey funk on it. That's all I in all the best ways. You got too many bottles. I got to ship ship to my uh, other house in Poland. So, is it cheap to ship them to Florida? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Good question. I, I told myself I get forty bottles. I end up with seventy five. So I got to send about twenty five to Poland. Oh wow! Because I lot. wasn't drinking. So I wasn't drinking. I just kept collecting them underneath. Yeah, you're collecting, so, them, wouldn't you? Man, when you're running across the stuff you're running across, why wouldn't you buy it? Yeah, and I know that it's going to be super expensive if I have to buy it in stateside. Hmm? Oh yeah. Plus, there's like some time, you got some time machine models in there too that just haven't yep. existed over here in a while. So. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like I like I said, I just picked up I picked up the R1 uh, Jim Beam R1, the old bottle, the, yeah. the rye. Yeah. And the old bottle, and I shipped it home, and then it's I mean. Like I never seen that. I'm not a Jim Beam fan, but hey, I'm gonna try. I like rice, so let's see yeah. what happens. <laughs> like me some Jim Beam. 
Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. It takes a lot to rub me the wrong way on a Jim Beam product. Yeah. Old granddad for one fourteens. Perfect. Yeah, it's not bad for the yeah, money. I, I like that. Isn't isn't that old tote whiskey? Isn't that Jim Beam stuff? That is um, like the prideful yeah. goat fifteen. Yeah, Ooh. that and um like prideful goat. What's the other brand? Oh my god. Is it old overhaul uh Jim Beam? Yeah, that Beam? is definitely a Jim Jim Beam brand. Yeah. No. yeah. Knob Creek, Knob Creek, mm -hmm. Booker's, mm -hmm. you know, Baker's. I think Baker's. That's also Jim Beam. So yeah, I can't remember the, the label I'm thinking of, but yeah, they they definitely have some to whiskey. Yeah, some old stuff. It was a um, the Harding is Harding Creek. Is that like a 17 year old or? Yeah, that's also some Beam Creek. Yeah, Orange Creek. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's gonna bother me. It's like on the tip of my tongue. Google <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. How did I read? Like <laughs> she had she had a um like a charity event, and she had a pit, not a pit. It was a bottle that was that old tote stuff. But I can't freaking think of a label. It'll come to me. Yeah. Oh, the oh, no, the Widow Jane was freaking MGP. Widow, Widow Jane. Yeah. No, the old one she had was MGP. Uh, Knob Creek 120 <laughs> proof, nine years solid. Mm -hmm. great, for that is great for the price. I almost never, I have some Knob Creeks, I almost never drink them. I really should. What the heck, Marty? Are you still awake? Go uh, to bed. Marty's up, bro. I was drinking a crazy. I have like nine jokes to, to, to make about Marty being awake at this hour, but I'm not going to say any of them. <laughs> but as soon as I rap, I'm going to say them all. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> good to see you, Marty. Have a good night, man. I wasn't sure I was going to be awake when you started. Here you are. Uh, it's oh, my, oh, magnanim oh. my magnanimous personality. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> Something He's like a night, night owl. I am definitely a night owl. <laughs> yeah, I, I, After I wrap it, I want to do my taxes. <laughs> mm. I'm still an early wanted, person. Yeah. I was up at four o'clock this morning. I'm an early bird. I'm the opposite yeah. of my wife. Yeah, but what is it now? Like, what is it? One p.m. over there? I uh, know it's seven fifty-eight a.m. or almost eight a.m. <laughs> oh, geez, you just got up. Oh, no. Holy shit! I already drove an hour to work. Jeez. <laughs> I drive. I drive two and a half hours of work every day, single day, and I drive per month three thousand eight hundred miles. Damn! Every oh, month. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. Are they paying for the petrol? Living in Florida. <laughs> My company pays for everything. I don't do anything but just make yeah. money. Yeah. Oh, there you go. He's there. He's in the. Uh, they pay for. They pay for the hills. He's in the hotel, EU. The it's car, fine. He's in the, the income generating business. What do you got yeah. there, Jason? Jason. Oh, he's got like a splash screen. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's full screen. Uh, that, he that tricked me a few times yeah. thinking he was holding something to the camera. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, yeah I did like, too. It's like he's advertising for himself. <laughs> That's what that is. Can't allow that. <laughs> <laughs> On this stream, no. No, never, never. I never want to promote anyone else's channel. You guys know me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just like, drop the link. Yeah, speaking of uh, Darrell, tomorrow night on uh, Hello Again Whiskey Friends at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah. You guys got something going on? We got Hard Truth coming on. You do have Hard Truth Ooh, coming on. No. <laughs> about that. I do, yeah. That's going to be a fun one, man. Yeah, it is. So we have... Well, actually, let me not even mix this up. I'm, I know Chris, obviously. That's the guy that took us through the tour. Yeah. And Brian, Brian Smith is the one that actually walked us through the single barrel selection. Right. You're tasting and everything. Yeah. Um, both of the guys were. They're both fantastic. on? Yeah. We're going to have them both. Oh, wow. That's cool. I'll be yeah, watching. We'll have both of them tomorrow. We'll be tasting some of the, some of the stuff, like some maybe older releases. We try to get some of the new stuff that came out, the bourbons. Yeah, but um, they didn't really drop like local to me. Well, they never dropped local to me, but they weren't around. Um, Jeff, is that what a sweet mash? It's a sweet mash. Oh, with caramel. Caramel. oh yeah. I haven't opened this yet, but I'm gonna open it tomorrow what? night while I'm watching. Yeah, I'm gonna have open you it tomorrow. Tried it? I uh, have not. <laughs> oh my 
God. I know. I know. You're I just, gonna... <laughs> I'm a little behind. I'm a little it's behind. not a bad problem to have, man. Yeah, I'm a is little it behind. Batch it's one okay. Or batch two, teach. Uh, this is batch two, I believe. Let's... Is it really? Oh my god. No, batch one. Sorry. Okay. Batch one, batch Even one. though. Yeah. Batch one at a uh, hundred and seventeen point four proof. Yeah. I'm really yeah. looking forward to this. What, uh, what batch of Russells are you drinking right now? Jeez. I'm drinking batch five of the Russells 13. I see that, J Max. That was a good one when we were out there. Batch five. Yeah, hey, five, exactly. Oh, yeah. I like it, Darrell. You picked a good one. Oh, wait, yeah, you said you picked nice. a different one, didn't you? I was split um, between one that was more the standard profile versus that one that one's a lot more darker and oakier because of the spiral cut that they did but um they were both really good i just thought that the other one may have a piece to more of the crowd being that it was a just a little more conventional versus like out of the box both good this one hits my palate just right yeah it's it's nice it's nice hard true stealing some silly stuff man yeah i I, I really like what they're doing for sure I love hard show. Yeah, so that's going to be fun tomorrow. Anybody else have anything they want to promote for the week? Perfect. You guys are the best. Joseph Magnus, Batch 126. There you go. Promote the hell out of that. There you go. Yeah. Didn't they come out with a new one this week? I thought that I saw something online that came out with a new one. Batch 235. Are they probably, they're probably at like 260 right now, man? They've 245, I think, is the last one. I saw. Yeah, they've, I don't been know. Pumping, they've been pumping them out like no other. Uh, Nancy said some interesting things. She said that the that they're getting better again, like way back, way back. They are getting good back to where they were in terms back of back to age. where they were. Yeah, well, it's not hopeful because there's an encore match coming out. She she named one of the, the last, the oh, last yeah. one was like 250 something. And I was like, "Damn, dude!" I have I have a few of the cigar blends. I like them all. <laughs> I like them all. For yeah, reasons, but I like them all. They're yeah. not bad. The old ones are <laughs> unreal. Like, yeah. yeah, I got I got back. Uh, I believe two hundred four. Okay. It's crazy to that. Too many bad. That's a lot. I feel, like, I feel like I got lucky for for. <laughs> For me being into whiskey, like a year and a half or so, give or take. I mean, I found one for two hundred bucks, no tax. So I, I was. Yeah, like, I would have bought that. I would have bought it. Yeah, it's yeah. basically what re- retailed one eighty nine. Yeah, the first yeah. one, ever, the first one I bought, which was the batch twenty seven, which is me and Jen's anniversary bottle. I paid one hundred and fifty dollars for that one. <laughs> and, and knowing now what I what I didn't know then, <laughs> I would have bought yeah, every single one. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I have batch twenty seven, batch thirty seven, batch forty seven, batch fifty seven, mm. then batch seventy seven. No sixty seven. Somehow I wasn't able to get sixty. But for some reason, I got all sevens for the, the first like five bottles. <laughs> and then I've got like eighty something, and then one one hundred and something. Yeah, literally everything is like three one twenty. Yeah. Were bangers. Yeah. Yeah. Pre like 50 were like crazy good. Yeah. There's some <laughs> really got fantastic a, ones. And those those mid 40s, early 50s are mm-hmm. crazy, crazy good. I got a 46 yeah. on the show. Yes. On sh- yes. Oh, your show. Yes. 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 Man, on a, on I, unopened. Show. It's, 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 it's not, it's not open. Can I trade you a JTS Brown bottle of bond for that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care what year it is. How about two brown <laughs> And I'll throw in a rare breed rye. <laughs> You're getting closer, but not quite. <laughs> Shit, dude. I got a lot of whiskey. We can negotiate. <laughs> How do you feel about old over whole 10 year rye? Have, have been I any- haven't had it. I, I oh my gosh, it's so freaking good. I wish it wasn't as good as it is. Have any of you had the uh, smoke wagon uh, private batch, the red red label? Oh, those, those are your like store picks around here. Yeah, yeah, those are the single barrels. Yeah, single barrels. Do you like, do you like, do you like it? Good. They're good. good. Yeah, they're good. They're good. They tend to be pretty good. I mean, they're you know they're not terribly old. That one's six years and ten months, so okay. decent age. It's crazy. They demand a premium, but like you can get some similar. I, I can, be, I can yeah. pretend you can literally buy an old scout. <laughs> yeah, I, I can be, for like I can half be, the price. 
I can potentially get one for like a hundred bucks. So I don't oh, know. If yeah. Yeah. Or, that would be my absolute tops on it. Yeah. I had to try it beforehand. And, and, and like seven year or... I, knew was a hitter. Yeah. I think the retail on those things are around 80 bucks. Well, well, we don't, yeah. we, we don't get a hundred. It's not too much more to pay for that. You know? I, I don't True. get that shit where I live. I mean, I, uh, regrettably, maybe a little bit regrettably paid 120 for a uncut and filtered because I live in Washington. Yeah. And yeah. Knows, uh, well, knows. yeah, with all the taxes in Washington. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Darrell knows how that is. It and, also and, depends on what batch it is. I mean, some of those uncut and filters in their early days. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind paying those prices yeah. for them, you know. Also, fair. Yeah. We, do, we just don't see him around here. So I was just like, you know what? Fuck it, dude. It's Thanksgiving. I don't care. I'm treating myself. <laughs> you know, like. There you go. Listen, if, if your budget um, aligns with availability and you want to pull the trigger, that's, you know, that's something you do on your own. You know? Yeah. I try I try not to regret the bottles I buy. Now, saying that at the same time, we're talking about Smoke Wagon. <laughs> It's kind of ironic. <laughs> a little bit. If you, if you know my history with the uh, smoke wagon oh, experimental God. ride bag. Yeah. yeah. Laughable for sure. <laughs> um, if you know, if you want $260 pickle juice. I don't, as a matter of fact. Uh, it's right here. It's right here. Smoke wagon experimental rye. Right there. Wow. Look at how green. Look at that. Well, green. Everybody wants oh, to know how good that is. I have a video of Jeff drinking it. It wasn't it's you. Funny. It's funny. At my first meetup, I drank that. Me and me and Julie likes that there and drank it. Julie, being the eternal oh. optimist that she is, she was trying to find all the good <laughs> things you could say about it. Now I'm just sitting there miserable drinking it. I'm just like, oh god, I can't believe I paid two hundred sixty dollars. Hey, Julie or Julie like? Julie like. Uh, <laughs> Julie like. Yeah. Julie, Julie, you know she's a, she's such an optimist. She was trying to find all the nice things yeah. to say about it. I was just no, like, not. you paid how much for this? That's a good price. <laughs> well, retail one was two fifty nine ninety nine. I I got it at call. I got it Ooh. at retail, but retail was just you know a little bit steep. Holy shit! Now I have I, like. drank, I have drank it more recently, and it doesn't have quite the strong pickle thing going on that it had originally. But it's still there, and I'll never, yeah. I'll never drink is it. it, is, it is it is it like dill pickle juice oh, or yeah. like or oh, like no. sweet pickle juice? Oh no, it's dill. It's straight <laughs> up dill. It's very um, <sighs> herb, herbaceous and and sour. Ooh. I I like dickle, but I've never paid anywhere near that for a bottle of it. I wouldn't pay that much for dickle anything. <laughs> pickles, yes. I would pay that much for pickles apparently. <laughs> mm, yeah. Uh, well, so maybe that's a good additive. <laughs> well, somehow we made it three hours already. How that happened? Widow, Widow, Widow is dickle, right? Cheers. Some of it, some of the Widow Jane's dickle, some of well, the Widow Jane's yeah. MGP. The decadence is that dickle stuff? On when it was is the decadence the maple finished one? Yeah, I don't know. It'll say Tullahoma, Tennessee, or something like that on it. All for, that I know is I live in Washington, so I paid too much for it. I was like, "Fuck," you know. Yeah. It was one of those bottles yeah. again. I was just like, pay too much for anything out there when it's taxes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, well, they're just not very really, to you out there. <laughs> well, what I realize is Total Wine, and they're starting to up their prices on bottles like that. So I mean. It was 120 before tax. So after tax, it was 150, 145 around there. Yeah, that's steep. Widow Jane bottles yeah. aren't cheap, though. No, they're, yeah, they're not cheap nice. to begin with. You're paying a premium for sure. Yeah. I really wanted the bottle. I missed out on it last year. So I was like, you know what? I might as well buy it while I can. Damn, it still bothering me about that damn Jim Bean tilt thing. I can't remember. <laughs> you can't remember what it was? <laughs> Dude, like, I hate a Widow Jane, and I want to say it's that, but I know it's not. No. <laughs> Again, if Ben was in the chat, he would know, but he he's probably long gone. Let's wake him up. Let's, let's call him. 
Let's call me in right now. I can actually get him live on there. That'll be great. Can tie this into my computer. <laughs> we'll, we'll wake up Ben. I'm something not gonna, good, I'm not going to wake up Ben. I'm kidding. I just poured some MGP. What'd you pour? Uh, so it's an eight year small batch version of the pick that I helped with. Uh, okay. So the, uh, what is that? The, uh, the copper, copper and cask? Yeah. The blend? So is that the blend? Florida barrels, the extra ones that were laid around from the non okay. single barrels. Hey, thanks, Mark. And a small batch that. Are there any of those still around? Not that small batch, no. Ah, damn it. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's really good. You know me, I need some more whiskey. I need to get some more whiskey. I'm running out of running out of whiskey. <laughs> There's a seven year that's probably still available that's really good. Man, that pick that you did is so too. good, though. Damn. No, the, the word room is a Freudian strip. That That's what you... Flo- Floydian true. strip? Yeah, 40, uh, Freudian, uh, Flo- yeah. Freudian <laughs> strip. Freudian <laughs> strip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, we just... Uh, All right. Another brick take in the wall. Hope to see you, you soon, take buddy. Care, man. buddy. I'll check yeah, you man. soon. All right. Do you have a lot of floor? Go get that job. Yeah. Get that job, man. Yep, come home. Cheers, JD. All right, buddy. See you soon. Do you have a lot of floor whiskey, Cheech? Uh, currently, let me count. Let me give you a count on how many bottles are on the floor. If you can count, there's not much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. I, I, I bent over to count this side, and my eyes started to cross while I was trying to count. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, I'm like uh... That's, that's at least 30 something on that side, and then there's at least uh 20 something on this side, so probably about 50. Probably about 50 oh, I, mean, sure. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I don't have any on the floor at the moment. Oh, god, I wish <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't yeah, count the can, stuff can, that's on the other like side of the room with boxes. Around, that's that's the stuff you got to worry about. I have yeah. way too many on the table in front of me, though. Oh, no, that's perfect. It's easy access, it's easy access. <laughs> All right, somehow we still got 26 people watching this, but I probably should shut it down because I've done the live stream for three hours and five minutes now. So yeah. let's go ahead and shut down the live stream. Uh, we, we, can, we can still hang out in the background. And anybody who's in chat that still wants to hang out in the background, just hit the link at the top of the chat. You can come in the background and, uh, and listen in and watch and comment in the private, private stream. Happy birthday, Cheech. Thanks, buddy. Oh, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it's closer now than it was at the beginning of the stream, that's for sure. Whole <laughs> day. Yeah, it's uh, I'm, I'm, we've turned a calendar day, that's for sure. Yeah. So uh, yeah. apparently in four days, but it's on the fourth day, so I've only got three days between now and then. So and that's it. What the heck, Isaiah? When did you come in? He said Isaiah showed up to say goodnight. It is all right. Good to see you, Isaiah. Uh, let me go ahead and shut down the live stream. If you got something in your glass, I still have a little Russell's 13. I'm going to finish that off on the way out. Cheers, everybody. I'll see you guys uh, next week. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. I remember how to end my stream. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Good night. <laughs>